Key Jim at Full Grip Games gonna be streaming some Pokemon trading card game online tonight. So I don't have any plans as to what I'm gonna play. Open to all suggestions and things like that. Just trying to get my grind on, working towards partner status here on Twitch and just gotta log some hours, but looking forward to streaming. Might do a little bit of expanded testing here. <laughs> Sean wants me to play Gordon. May play some Gordon. I can't play Gordon. You know I don't have beaches, Sean. So one day maybe you'll be kind enough to trade me some beaches and we can play Groudon. Until then, we have to trudge through Expando format with uh, things not named Groudon. Do have a few expanded decks, Bill. Honestly, expanded is just like a wild, wild ride. So many different decks are viable in Expanded. It just is a little overwhelming at times, but I do love to play Blastoise, so we'll uh, yeah, we'll start off with Buzzrock. Buzzrock is like my my safe space. That is what I uh, I love to play in Expanded format. So we'll start off a game with Buzzrock, get that rolling, and just kind of get warm up, warm up games in with. <laughs> Buzz Rock there. Thanks for joining me, Sean. Appreciate it. Keeping me company and everything. What's up, HP Tank? Going to be streaming tonight. Getting, uh, I don't know, just getting my feet wet here with expanded format, but might might switch over to standard. I don't have any plans or anything like that in, uh, in regards to what format I'm going to be playing tonight. No no loyalties to either Standard or Expanded or any particular deck. The other night we did stream with just Decidueye decks. What's up, Eugene, 1981? Um, so might be playing a little bit of anything. Just honestly trying to bide some time until I get to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate tonight. Really stoked on that. Uh, Natalie pre-ordered our copies for us, so stoked on that as well. Gonna get to play that. Natalie's giving me a hard time because I just am really excited for Toon Link. Toon Link's like my favorite character on Smash. So I'm stoked to play Toon Link. Natalie wants me to try out some other characters though. So I might try out some other characters eventually in Smash, but you know, I really just wanna play Toon Link. I might also play uh, King K. Rule. I might play King K. Rule tonight. I might try. King K. Rule out a little bit, just a little bit. I love Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country was like one of my favorite games growing up. Thank you, oh Miss Lily, for the sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I would love to stream some Smash Ultimate. I need to get myself one of those little adapter things that allows you to transfer your Nintendo Switch to an HDMI output. So that's on my to-do list. I just have not ordered one yet. They're a little expensive, so it's just on my on my list of things to do right now. I'm working towards it. Haven't quite got there yet, but uh, I don't know if people would be interested in seeing me play all different kinds of games here on on uh, Tricky Gym. I would be open to it. We've got ourselves a real uh, real grinder of a hand here. That's okay. This Natu is uh, going bye bye, so that's that is just fine. We just got to ship the whole hand. Juniper, get out of here. I guess it's technically a Professor Sycamore. That's okay. We will Ultra Ball away. Probably the Guzma on a Float Stone, as much as I don't want to do that. Um, this Buzzwool, let's be honest, the Buzzwool's probably not going down this turn. I can Ultra Ball away a Float Stone and a B-String, because I'm going to Sycamore again next turn. That, or I may decide that I want to Guzma if my opponent gives me something real, I don't know, tasty to bring up. I think I want the Diancy could be good. I don't need the Diancy yet. I could get the Rock Rough could be really good. A Remoraid could be really good as well. Just giving me the opportunity to get it. Octillery, if I had one. So we'll just get the Rock Rough. That's fine. And then next turn we'll do do some more things there. I think that the I actually think that the jump block doesn't it resist fighting? Oh, it does. How rude. 
Okay, so that's not exactly what we wanted. Knowing that our prize two auxiliary potentially should have gotten the uh, the remoraid there, I knew that would have given me an option to evolve into uh, evolve into auxiliary if I had planned for that. But that's fine. I'm probably just shipping this hand with Sycamore. I highly doubt that my opponent is going to be doing 190 damage. Now, since they are getting a jump bluff here, though they may be able to get a Nat 2 into play and knock out my Buzzwell with weakness, though, which is not exactly what I uh, would like to see. But if that does happen, I do have the baby Buzzwell here. It's going to see some action. We'll get to Sledgehammer. So I didn't think that my opponent's opening hand was super strong, which is why I decided to get rid of the B-string, but if my opponent proves me wrong and knocks out this bustle, I'm gonna be a little bit salty. Uh, ooh, this goop. All right, we'll take it. I am missing the old standard uh, Mr. Sticky. Yes, I am. I loved Buzzrock back when I could just grind Buzzrock all the time. So it's fine. We're going to win a few games real quick with Buzzrock and make me feel good about myself before I like uh, before, <laughs> before I wander out. Oh, did you trade me some beaches, Sean? Did you trade me some beaches? I can go check that out. Let's see what I have in the trades. Did, did you offer me a trade? Oh, he did offer me a private trade. Sean, you're too kind. I don't have a pack of Ancient Origins, but I'm going to find one. Oh, my goodness. Let's get a pack of Ancient Origins so I can get some beaches. Thank you, Sean. Wow, you're too kind. I'm going to have to do, Sean, some favors for those beaches for sure. So let's see if we can find ourselves one pack of Ancient Origins. That's the... Uh, Ancient Origins. That's the goal here. I should probably be able to get myself a pack of Ancient or A gold dive ball. You're crazy. You ain't getting a gold dive ball. Ain't getting it. No, not a gold dive. How about a Mars? A full art Mars? Oh, but my full art Mars is so nice. But I am trading it for four beaches. Let's see. Tapu Coco GX. I much prefer that trade. Okay, let's see here. Tapu. Where was the Tapu Coco one? I liked that. You're not getting my computer search. Not a chance. Tapu Coco GX. I'll take it. All right. You're one of my five Tapu Coco GX. No, I'm, that would be a bold counter offer, wouldn't it? Like, you know, three beaches for or four beaches for one. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go. All right. I don't know how to, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to build a Groudon list. I guess if uh, Natalie were to send me a Groudon list, on my cellular device, I could assemble it. So if anybody who has my cell phone number texts me a, oh, I got a text. Uh, that's from Sean, ooh, Sean. Sean texting me some spice over there. I guess if someone texts me a Groudon list, I will attempt to assemble it here on PTCGO and we can play some Groudon tonight. Um, ZQFN, uh, only sometimes, not often. I really don't get an opportunity very often to create a list from users unless it's something that, you know, uh, I guess piques my interest. Like, if you can send it to me on Twitter, I'll take a look at it. Uh, but I don't have a ton of free time, honestly. I uh, spend almost all day creating content or working. So that's just like, I don't get a lot of time to just like test things out. But if you send me a list on Twitter at EnjoyFriend, E-N-J-O-I Friend, I will check it out. I'll at least look at it. And if it looks like something that I think that my viewers would find interesting, then I'll build it. So that's kind of where we are with that. What's up, B. Jefferson? How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the party. We're going to be playing some PTCGO tonight. Tails never fails. We're going first. Let's get it. So, Buzzwool again, amazing deck. Honestly, this deck just makes me feel so good, uh, so confident. I mean, Buzzwool just gets out there with that turn one jet punch every single turn. Love it, love it, love it. Now, it is difficult to build a Buzzrock deck in expanded format. It feels like there's just so many good cards that you want to include. Uh, like uh, the Giratina for this thing. But anyways, I think we can we can win. We'll win. We could do it. So Brooklyn Hill, obviously it's very good for my opponent, but that's fine. We need to kind of grind out of this hand here. We're going to get ourselves a Remoraid. And then I probably want... Yeah, we're definitely going to get that because I'm going to draw with the Octillery. I'm not even going to put Lele down, I don't think. 
And then I think that I just want a uh, rock rough as well. So I'll ultra ball away ultra ball and B string. And we'll put down that rock rough. I doubt that that Brooklet Hill is going anywhere. My opponent is probably going to dig that Brooklet Hill. So they're probably going to keep that there for me. And I'll just attach my basic fighting energy as well. Next turn, we're looking to refill our hand with artillery, potentially get a Pokemon with that Ultra Ball there. Awesome stuff. Harry Drummer, thank you for the sub. And Natalie, thank you for the bits. Thank you guys so much. Harry Drummer, appreciate it. And love the screen name too, by the way. Awesome stuff. I did get some lists sent here from Natalie and from Sean. So I will look into building that Groudon deck. I could definitely uh, check that out. Um, could be. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my Patreon Discord is active, uh, ZQFN, good question. And that's fair, you know, but I do, I make a point to get in there every single day. And uh, Natalie's in there almost every day as well. And then we have a bunch of viewers who, you know, a bunch of very fun people in my Discord chat. Love it. I love it. Uh, all right. So we have Buswell in the active, paralyzed. Hmm. It's a tough one here. I feel like I like I want to attack for sure. I, I'm kind of looking for like a Guzma. I think I commit the energy maybe to Rock Rough and go. That uh, could allow me to just hit Guzma off of this, or I could always Lele for Guzma as well. That's kind of not what we want. You know how I said like we're for sure going to be, uh, <laughs> we're for sure going to be. Um, you know, attacking next turn or whatever, or junipering. Yeah, that's just like, yikes, another B string down two. This is not what we want to see at all here. I think that we, you know, we could ultra ball. I feel like we kind of have to ultra ball at this point. Like this hand is not going anywhere. So even if we ultra ball, we could get a Diancy, I guess. That doesn't really help us. My Lele is actually prized. So that's a little bit tough. I think we just got to ship this hand and yikes, this could be a game losing scenario for sure. <laughs> just uh, slowing my momentum down, not what we wanted to see here. So going to just ship this hand, we're gonna let it roll. Here we go, Sycamore, all right. Buzzwell sleep in the active, not sleep, but you know, he, he's sleeping on the job. He paralyzed, he's not doing what he's supposed to do. So we'll just, bench that. I'll roll the max elixir. That's fine as well. Four fighting in my top six cards. That's insane. Insane. Uh, Omis Lily, I would like to integrate them eventually. So have them both like uh, subs and uh, Patreon people can get in there. I just have to figure out what the best way to do that to get, uh, you know, to get my, uh, my Twitch subs into the channel. Uh, I would just you know, it's going to be a problem solving thing for me to figure out. So that's on my to do list as well. So uh, thank you, Natalie, for answering that. I am ugh, kind of just paralyzed here. Yeah, I think that's just a pass. I don't really want anything else here on the bench. We're just going to load up our two buzz holes past my opponent. They are going to water duplicates. It's okay. I mean, because I went first. So my momentum's not that sluggish, uh, unfortunately. They do have their star me up, so that's good for them as well. That star you is really easy pickings for me. Oh, the disrespect. Uh, I guess I, as weird as it is, like they're gonna start ability locking me. Uh, the Diancy's really bad to get rid of, but so is the Octillery. Feel like I'm just gonna ditch the Octillery though. Like that thing's just gonna, you know what I mean? Like, that's just going to be a, ugh, we'll just get rid of the Octillery. That's fine. That's what we got. Because they're just going to ability lock me anyway. So I might as well just get, like, my one turn of use out of Diancy. I think that's, like, what I'm going for here. That's what you think, Natalie. I think I'm just, I'm just going to use the, I'm going to try and uh, get Octillery out later. We'll just do that. I'm getting ability locked here. So either way, like, they're both not going to get use. I want to knock out the Frogadier. So I'm like, gonna keep the Diancy. That's kind of like my thought. Like I need to knock out at least something this turn. And the 
Fancy is going to help me to do that. So, alrighty then. We don't need probably this Remoraid or that Choice Band, so let's Ultra Ball those and see what we got going on. I was not expecting a Parallel City to come down from my opponent. I really was not. So, I think we're going to Lycanroc here. I think we just have to... Is that Star... Eh, he's got to retreat one. All right, that's fine. Uh, he's also got, like, way too many hit points. I think I'll get him. And we're probably going to bring up, yeah, let's just bring up somebody else. So we'll probably bring up a different Frogadier, I guess. Just one that doesn't have the splash energy on it. I was considering bringing up the Starmie, but it's not quite time for that yet. We'll drop these on these guys here and then just Sycamore for seven new cards. Got a Max Elixir, basic fighting energy, okay. So I guess maybe I could have gone on to the, the Flustone on the active, but Dangerous Roguing, one of these things would have felt horrible. I think I was just going for the strong energy and hoping that I hit. That was an unfortunate whiff there. So yeah, I didn't really want the Flowstone on the active. It doesn't really matter. I guess I could have just gone there. I kind of like these two targets better for Flowstone though. I'll just put it on the active and then max elixir and hopefully hit on the bench, we do. So we can kind of pivot to whoever next turn and we're just going to Jetpot Town. All right, we're gonna start hitting away at that Starmie. That thing's got 90 hit points, three Jet Punches and he is a goner. But I think at this point, I'm probably just a little bit too far behind. I needed to, I'm telling you that one turn there, uh, was really devastating where my opponent kept me paralyzed. We were poised and ready to go with our buzzwall, but you know, that extra turn was a big deal. What's up, almighty Hitmonchan? Welcome to the party. Here we go. My opponent's got one Greninja in play already. They're grabbing another one. But yeah, this is uh, the four Frogadier as well. They didn't even prize one. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Ace Pokemon. I'm glad you were able to support the shop. Great stuff. Cool. Sweet. Uh, my opponent's going for a third Greninja. That's a feel bad. You know, when Greninja stunts like this, there's not much you could do about it. It's in a very, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a tough deck to set up sometimes, but this is kind of the dream board. This is exactly what my opponent uh, wants. It's the best thing they could have hoped for, so. They're doing well here. I need to find, like desperately need to find a strong energy. So I'm probably just going to waste my N here unless I want to bring up something annoying for my opponent. I could bring up this Frogadier here on the bench, I suppose. Uh, and then I could Jet Punch again. Uh, probably knuckle impacting is very good though, so we'll probably try to knuckle impact. I just am gonna knuckle impact this thing. And then I have Guzmas in my hand, so let's just do that. Yeah, we ain't got it here, so that's fine. I'll just, and eh, mm, Guzmas are good to have right now. So I don't really want to see anything else. Like, I think I'm fine with this hand. Two Guzmas, like, means I'll be able to knuckle impact back to back. Unless this thing goes down next turn, which it probably, uh, yikes. Probably will. We'll just we'll just end. We'll see some different cards. Yes, Full Grip Games does sell codes. It does. Uh, we sell lots of codes. We have them available on FullGripGames.com if you want to check them out. So let's see. I got the Super Rod. I don't think that I'm exactly going to use it yet. We're just going to Knuckle Impact and then kind of go from there. My opponent unfortunately does get to save that Greninja, and I cannot believe that that Knuckle Impact is my first prize. That is a feel bad that is a feel bad for sure ace pokemon it depends on the set that you are looking for different sets vary in price uh you know depending you know like guardians rising is usually pretty expensive because they got tapu leles in them so i buy expensive i mean like closer to 50 cents some of them are like 30 cents some of them are 25 cents so just depends on whatever you're looking for see my opponent has Oh, I guess, yeah, Sean would be the best one to answer that question, right? I thought I thought the codes were available on the website, Sean, but oh well. That's a Sean question. Kronos Kronos can answer that. He's our, uh, he's our, our codes department. <laughs> I know, Otto. This is, this is horrendous. This is just a feel bad. And they had town map. They even get to look at their prize cards. That's really brutal. 
they did get rid of their own Parallel City. That was hindering them a lot because Parallel City uh, reduces their damage output. You notice how their, their Shadow Stitch only did 20 to me instead of its full 40 damage. So they're going to Sycamore there after the Field Blower. Field Blower removing their own Parallel. There's a Greninja Break. Yikes. So that's, uh, that's not good. And now I'm thinking, like, I'm feeling kind of bad about getting rid of that hand with the two Guzmas now. That Guzma was going to be really rad for sure. Nobody likes to just retreat a Buzzwole, but that might just be where we're at right now. Just hard retreat a Buzzwole. I don't know, super rod it back in. I think I've done two B strings. I'm down two B strings. That's not where you want to be. And then they're just going to Shadow Stitch for 40 damage. So they're going for my Diancy here. I don't really care if they... Oh, yeah, we got Guzma. All right, we're in business. I don't really care if they knock out my Guzma, honestly. That's just, like, not that big... Or knock out my Diancy. That's not that big of a deal to me. So that I'm a-okay with. Let's go... Guzma will probably just take out, like, the fresh Greninja over there on the bench and just let this thing exist. That's fine with me. I don't necessarily want to even play one of these. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's knock this thing out. So I don't even want to, yeah, play any of these guys yet because I know that they are going to probably hammer it away. That would just feel kind of bad if they did. But I could put one down just in case of, like, an incoming N. Like, I have enough special energy in my hand that, like, even with... I can kind of take that risk. If they end me, they end me. I'm not going to super rod yet because I don't want like a deck full of octillaries. That's just bad. Yeah. So let's just knuckle impact again. Booyah. Get him. Get him, Buzzwell. Do it. All right. Excellent. One more prize card. Busted. Octillery. Welcome to the party, Octillery. Welcome to the scene. Excellent. We hit 70 viewers. Fantastic. That's great. That's what I need to see. In order to get that partner status, I'm working on that. I got to stream like 12 times in 30 days. So we are working on that slowly but surely. Not even slowly. I've been grinding out streams like almost every single night. And it's fun. I'm having a great time. I'm really into this. So this has been, this has been a blast for sure. And I'm excited to do more Twitch content. I'm really motivated to do it. You know, grow the channel here. Uh, the content on YouTube, you know, I'm going to still do uh, isolated YouTube only videos as well. So make sure to stay tuned. If you don't follow me on YouTube, Mahone's Tricky Gym's name of the channel on YouTube as well. What's up? Is that Alien? I was looking like Alan. Gosh, I got to get my ugh, eyes fixed. But what's up, Alien? How you doing? Welcome here. Welcome, welcome. This is looking bad for my Buzzwall men. I'm thinking that uh, I'm probably going to get one knocked out this turn. That's not good. Uh, no bueno. Yes, but thank you, Natalie, for the bit donation. Thank you, Natalie. I, uh, I got us Super Smash Ultimate tonight, so I'm very excited. We got pre-orders. We're going to be out there at midnight for the midnight release of Smash. All right, I don't even think they've attacked yet, so that's kind of a feel bad. <sighs> We'll go in with the Lycanroc. That's fine. Lycanroc can like Dangerous Rogue. And we'll just get that going while we can. I have the strong energy in my hand. So Lycanroc, we'll just, we'll just Dangerous Rogue now. And do we want... I can end my opponent to three as well. Like that's pretty good. I feel like we just take him out of the game with that. And then Brooklet Hill, that's fine. See, is there anything I want to get with Brooklet Hill? Yeah, that Buzzwell, your time's over, but I probably should have, like, super rotted some energy back in that Brooklet Hill, but, you know, that's that's fine. That's just, like, that's not what we're doing. We're going to, we're going to just super rod. I have, like, coming off the prizes of Buzzwell, so I'm going to super rod these guys back into the deck. It's fine. I didn't exactly need, I didn't need that Buzzwell. We're, we're fine. All right, let's end my opponent to three. All right, so I did that in reverse order, but it's all good. Probably should have Brooklet Hill for a new Buzzwell, but... Here he is, you know, because then this Buzzwell isn't going to be, like, in my in my hand, right? So it's fine. I don't actually want him down yet, though. I really only want him down if I happen to hit my third B-string, which we didn't hit. So that's fine. He's staying in the hand. I don't want him to be a target for anything. I think we'll just Dangerous Rogue here, knock out that Greninja. And, you know, who knows? Maybe the Lycanroc will retreat next turn. Maybe, ooh, Colrus busted. Maybe we will Claw Slash, but I can retreat and then Knuckle Impact next turn as well. 
That is、uh, muy bien. Yes, we are limiting my opponent. My opponent's Greninjas are falling. They need to not have a good supporter. I can't end them, you know, even more if they do happen to get a supporter. I can limit their hand again with end. But this guy is a real problemo. We need to get rid of the Starmie. The Starmie is kind of like their infinite juice in this deck. And just keeps them drawing, you know, energy throughout the course of the game. So if I could set up a situation where, like, I Guzmud and you know knocked out a Froki, I guess, and also hit into a Starmie, that would feel very good. Or if I could just Guzma Jet Punch the Starmie, that would feel fantastic as well. I would be into it. Oh, my opponent plays a lot of Field Blowers. They are ready for that Garbodor matchup for sure. Three, three Field Blowers. Oh, that's a feel bad. My opponent did rip the Versus Seeker, so they're going to be drawing more cards this turn. Probably getting themselves a like a Sycamore. They have a zero card hand. They're just gonna Lily, Lily. That is an interesting card for this deck to play in expanded format. You don't see a lot of Lily, but it makes sense in Greninja Break because. Uh, if you have like a Frogadier in your hand, turn one,、uh, you might want to just Lily instead of getting rid of that Frogadier. So I do like that. A very cool idea on my opponent's part. My opponent seems to have a very stellar Greninja list. Honestly, it's it's working quite well. <laughs> I am very impressed. What's up, Creeping Fruit? Welcome, welcome to the PTCGO party. Thank you for joining us. My opponent's really taking a long time to think about that. Ooh, they're getting N. They don't even need any cards. Oh, they didn't play it. Did they time themselves? I believe they probably timed themselves out on that turn, taking way too long.、Uh, it's fine. I don't really feel bad. They definitely should have attacked. But you know, you know what we say in the business. We definitely take those. So we are probably. Ooh, do you even? Can you like retreat off this? That feels. Bad to retreat the Lichen Rock. We probably just go in and just stay the course. Yeah, we probably just do that. And I don't know, ending my opponent. You know, that's kind of a feel bad as well. We're gonna Colrus and just hope we hit like the B string there. So yeah, let's see. Did we hit the B string? No, we did not. Thank you so much for the sub, idiots are us. Appreciate it and for gifting one to run the boot market. Thank you guys so much for the subs. Appreciate it. You guys rock. All right, so we yes, the choice band that bando does not matter. So we did not hit our elusive final B string, but that's okay. My opponent, you know, they skipped a turn because they just were too busy. I don't know, talking on the phone, talking on AOL Instant Messenger, right, kids? But yeah, they were too busy doing something, and、uh, <laughs> and just did not attack. They didn't do anything. They fetched themselves an N, and they did nothing else. That was it. So. I am okay with that.、It、gives me a free turn and potentially saves me from losing with、uh, this pretty horrible matchup. So I am definitely all right with that. Not exactly sure that my opponent has a ton of space in their list for enhanced hammer either. Now that I am looking at it, I think、uh, I think my opponent is gone. I think they're asleep. You know, they're just、uh, like sorry, had to you know had to get the pizza, the、uh, the pizza. The pizza man here, and I'm getting the pizza at the door. So that's it. They are not here anymore. But you know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna. I ain't. I'm not scooping, guys. I'm not. I ain't scooping, and I'm not giving my opponent more cards either. We're just gonna stick them more. We're gonna take this win. We're gonna take it. All right, and we're gonna be string. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Giving me free stuff now. <laughs> we don't have any energy left at the deck. I might deck myself, but we do need to.、Uh, we need to be a little bit careful. All right. In a claw slash here, I want that win. I want to be one step closer to the to the plasma freeze pack. So guys, hang on tight here while I defeat my opponent. We gotta see if they come back to keyboard though. If they return to keyboard and then are like, oh god, and then like go back and try to win, that might be a thing as well. So who knows though? We we're gonna take it while we got it. We're gonna ride this ride this free gravy train. I was gonna lose this, Natalie. You're correct. I was not. I was not about to win. This was、uh, my opponent. My opponent was styling on me. My opponent was styling on me hard. And then、uh, you know, it's fine. Sometimes you know, just life gets busy. Somebody picked an active Pokemon. Pokemon for them. Will like, will the game like automatically select an active Pokemon for you? I've never seen that happen before. So somebody selected that Starmie to go active, but. <laughs> the boat did turn around. 
Oh, the boat did turn around, Natalie. Yes, I was a uh, one-way ticket, no return flight to Punish Island, and then they uh, they spared me. I don't know, by getting a pizza or something. There we go. Victory! I'll take it. All right, that wasn't super real, but, you know, sometimes your opponents don't show up to play. Hey, you ever been to a tournament and your round one opponent doesn't show up? That's what I'm talking about. Still counts as a dub. We take it. Two-win streak on stream so far. Let's do, uh, I know, Crescent, I know, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, o Oxalon, Oxella Sun. Thank you, Oxella Sun, for the bits. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to try and build a Groudon deck, all right? So we're going to see how many cards we have to the Groudon here. Sean traded me some beaches. He was very kind, and I'm sure that he'll tell me that I owe him like $100 later. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to try to create an Expando deck. So let's get in there, see how many of these cards we're missing. First of all, I'm a little bit concerned that I don't own Primal Groudons. If I don't own Primal... Oh, I got three. How many do we need? Looks like we only need two. That's excellent. All right. I also need I think I'm I think I'm using Natalie's list here yeah we also need Groudons let's see how many grou Groupons we've got we've got ourselves three Groupons all right very good three Groupon EXs and we need that promo Reggie Rock do we have him Reginald Rock where are you Reginald Rock here where where are you no no I don't have him Oh my gosh, all right, off to the trades. We need to find the Reggie Rock. Who is the Tromp? Natalie says I need a Tromp. Uh, I need that, uh, I need the Re Sir Reginald Rock. I think that I do have, uh, I do have some Scrambler switches, so I do have those. Let's see, Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock promo. All right, what do you mean no, you know, Reggie Rock? Is that how you spell Reggie Rock? Yeah, so Reggie Rock EX. That's not what I need, though. I need the other one. Groudon EX Dark Explorers. I think that I have those. Yeah, I just need the Reggie Rock with the traits. So this is going to be kind of tough to find. I don't even know how I would differentiate that. I can go into, all right, we'll 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 do this. I hate to go into the, let's see, can we do, ah, here we go, yes. I think that we do promo, right? It's a promo. Sun and Moon Black Star promo? No. I think it's a X, is it an XY promo? XY Black Star promo? Feels like it. I am getting. All right, apply. And we're looking for Sir Reginald Rock. Uh, there we go. Excellent. I think it's a Black Star promo, right? I think so. XY? I'm, I'm guessing that it's XY. Anyways, can we play Groudon without Reggie Rock, guys? I think that uh, you know there seems to be no no Reggie Rocks here. Sean, send me a trade for a Reggie Rock. That would be pretty busted. Or Natalie, somebody who's got a Reggie Rock. Then we could uh, really get the show on the road. All right, guys, somebody's got to send me a trade for a Reggie Rock, and then we'll build the list. Until then, we're playing Archies. Let's go. Uh, and then I'll wait for a Reggie Rock to show up. I'm not gonna sit here for 10 minutes until a public trade pops up. We're just going to uh, gonna do it. It wasn't there, Sean. There were zero. No things popped. Nothing. Just Reggie Rock EXs. That's all people got. So if uh, if there's no Reggie Rock EX or if there's no Reggie Rock promo, there's going to be no, no Grudon deck. None of it. But Archie's is a lot of fun. I'm going to play the deck very well. I'm going to concentrate, and I'm going to get the turn ones every single time. Oh, yeah, me versus Otto. Let's get it. Otto is trying to get paired with me here on PTCGO, and we hit. Otto is a good friend of mine, so this should be exciting. And hopefully Otto won't quit on me like Riley always does with his secret decks. But anyways, uh, that's fine. We're going to start with Shining Volcanion here and then probably also bench the Caldo. But this is pretty rough. The starting hand is not, is not actually doable. Yeah, no, it's not gonna get us a Blastoise. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the kind of hand that makes you never wanna play this deck again. And I've brought this deck to tournaments before, uh, but, you know, and I've had these kinds of experiences where I just open a horrible hand uh, you know, like three rounds in a row, and then I'm just like, you know, sworn off the deck. Never again. Never touching it again. But this kind of thing does happen. We are not going to be getting the turn one Archies. Not with a hand like this, so no. But anyways, it's cool. 
opponent's got Sycamore there. Let's see. Oh, not my opponent. This is Otto. I know this. And Otto's playing his Metal Boy deck. Check that out. He's got Bronzors in here. He can get them with his Heavy Ball. Oh, my gosh. He's got Soul Galio, Prism Star. Otto's going to give me the business this game. It's not even going to be close. I could top deck something like an Ultra Ball, Order Pad, anything. Anything. Ooh, that's not what we wanted to see. All right, we're manually attaching to Keldo. All right, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> Literally, uh, just a horrible opening hand. Nothing going on in this hand. This is absolute trash. Uh, I think uh, Zorark decks are really good and expanded. I have some people uh, asking about Zoro Garb and expanded. Zoro Garb is like really good as well. I plan on kind of hammering away some more fine-tuned expanded testing next week. JW is coming to town. JW is a good friend of mine, currently lives in Florida. So he's going to be in town and it's going to be a lot of fun. So looking forward to testing with him. JW was, uh, let's see, JW and Natalie were my primary testing partners leading up to uh, Nationals 2016, uh, US Nationals, where I was able to get top eight. So I've had some really good testing experiences with JW. Natalie, of course, always around down to test. So she is one of my favorite testing partners as well. All righty then. Uh, you're saying we got an Ultra Ball. Okay. Okay. I feel you. I am feeling like we're going for Shaman. I feel like we got to go Shaman or, or Bust here. Like, there's just like, Nah, really. Oh, I have a Blastoise in the discard pile. Let, be careful, Andrew. All right, all right, all right. No, I can't do it. Because like I'm one card short of being able to do it this turn. Because uh, I can Ultra Ball for Lele, Lele for Archies. No, no, we could do it, we could do it. And then I can, mis yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we could do it. All right, let's get Lele. And then we could get the Archies, if it, if it's in deck. Oh, the Archies isn't. No, we don't. Okay. Mm, yes, we can do it. All right, we're going to do it. Busto. Yes, yes, yes. I told you guys. Told you. I was going to focus real hard. Here we go. Now we're going to do this and that and this and that. And voila. From the dust, we have uncovered the Archies Blastoise. Yes, from the most unlikely hand. Here we go. Busto Archies. All right, Otto. You may have won the battle, but you have not won the war. Here we go. Archibald, get your Torch Toys into play. Here we go. Five new cards. Ooh, we can attack. You're even saying we can attack? That's too kind. Uh, if we knock out that Solgaleo, though, that's a trap. We know better than doing that. That Solgaleo will uh, will rear its ugly head and just be, you know, or this thing. Yeah, he's going to, you know, Sun's Eclipse or whatever. Yeah, we don't want any of that action going on here. So I think we got a Battle Compressor here. And we're probably just going to ship all those water energies. I would love to ship uh, other things, but I feel like we just need these gentlemen here. And then we will uh, get an egg into play. Yeah, the old-fashioned way with the, with the superior energy retrieval. So, yeah, I take the knockout on Sogalio. I think, you know, Otto can retreat and knock out my Shining Volcanion. I probably want to, like... I could knock it out with quad smash. I'd have to flip four heads, though, so we're probably not doing that. I'm thinking that I'm going to just uh, go in with the dual pump, though. I'm feeling pretty good about dual pump. Thinking that we just dual pump, hit into the um, hit into this guy a little bit, soften him up, make him a little bit easier for my Keldo to take out. So here we go. Deluge on to Shining Volcanion. Very good. And this takes forever to do. I do wish that I still own my, uh, I had like the gold, the shiny Blastoises back in the day. I used to play this deck all the time. It's my favorite deck, one of my favorite decks of all time. Not the Archie's version, the old version back that played like Tropical Beach and you had to evolve up Blastoise manually with like Skyla and Rare Candy. It was crazy. So yeah, we're going to do that guy and that guy. Very good. Dual pump. Get him. I guess I probably should have dual pumped the Bronzong, but eh, it's fine. This guy's like very annoying as well, and I want him to get knocked out. So if that thing stays in the active position, I mean, Keldeo could knock it out, or if I draw into like, I don't know, some other cards, I can knock out the Solgaleo, so that's fine. I don't think that this Shining Volcanion is gonna last a turn, so that's kind of why I'm not actually, oh no, this is bad, 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 bad. Uh, so yes. <laughs> Yikes. 
What's up, Kruger? What's up, Yarden? Welcome to the party, Yarden. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Otto's got everything he needs here. He is going to be just blowing my Keldo to smithereens. Poor Keldo. Didn't even get to Secret Sword, man. Didn't even get to do what he wanted to do, man. So you know, you know what time it is, though. You know what time it is. Like, you know what we're about to do, guys. Like, not even a question about what's about to go down. If you guys don't see it, let me let me unveil what we're about to do. It's called Quad Smash. <laughs> we're about to Quad Smash this thing. Let's get it. Quad Smash time. Get it, get it, get it. All right, we're going to bench this thing, too. Quad Smash. There was only one way that this is going to work out. Oh, no. We needed three. <laughs> ah, no. We needed one more. Ah. No, <laughs> very bad. It's fine. Maybe, maybe he doesn't have it. Ah, Volcanion, you almost got me there with your very rolly attack, but it was, it was very close. It was a good fight, Volcanion. And I, honestly, what more could we have done? It's fine. You know, maybe we'll get Articuno. Oh no, this <laughs> is not good. What is he doing? Does he have the? He, he can't possibly get enough energy onto this thing in order to attack again. He's not behind on prizes. He's leaving my Shining Volcanion, giving him another day. Oh, he's going in with Radiant Star. Come on. All right, we need a oof. All right, goodbye, Natalie. Thank you for joining us. Natalie's going to do a little coach sesh. Guzma. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so you guys want to see... Auto get punished for that right there? Yes, I'd like to search for a supporter card. Give me the Guzma. Oh, give him to me. Beautiful. All right. Here we go. So, y'all know what time it is. We about to Guzma up. And it doesn't even matter what we Guzma up, honestly. Guzma up anything. Probably just, oh, it doesn't matter. We'll just bring up the Tapu Lele. Uh, that's fine. We're going to bring him into the, my, you know, Auto can rush in. So, it doesn't actually matter what I do. But we're going to dual pump. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. And I guess we could also do 50 more damage to that Solgaleo. Beautiful. Gosh, busted. Auto, we in this game, bro. We are in it. So that's what uh, that's what I'm talking about. Auto might not have a great way to knock out. He needs a metal energy in hand in order to attack with this Corona Impact. If he doesn't have, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, Auto. That's right. Don't have a metal energy, please. That would be so bad. So that, uh, <laughs> yeah, draw engines are, are overrated. I have no draw engine here. Who needs draw engine when you just top deck everything that you need every single turn for the rest of the game? Honestly, even just like a, a versus seeker wouldn't even dig me out of this hand right here. I would have to like, no, I can't. A versus seeker doesn't even help. I can't, can't do it. We're just stalled out here. We'll see who Otto metal links to. Oh yeah, it's not the guy. It is not, he's gotta do it again. Thank goodness, he doesn't have it. This is incredible. We get to just quad smash, we'll knock out the Sogalio. Oh, amazing stuff. Otto did not have the metal energy to knock me out with Corona Impact, so. Uh, did he? I don't know. Anyway, order pad. You're telling me I gotta dig myself out with order pad. Oh, well, let's let it rip. Okay, Eds did it. Oh. Busted. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a computer search here, and then we're just going in. I'm going to computer search probably for a Sycamore. So do we have a Sycamore in deck? That's what I'm talking about. All right, Otto. You're going down. Juniper. We're going to comp search for a Juniper, I believe. That is the game plan. I'm thinking that we could just take two prizes on this Solgaleo right here. That probably feels like a winning strategy. So let's uh, let's pop this egg out. And I'm going to bench the Articuno. And I think I'm just going for it. Yeah, I only need like one heads. So we're, we're just going for it here. I mean, like I could go all in and uh, just get myself a, um, I could just get myself a Fisherman. That just feels bad though. So I think that I'm, I'm trying to attack with the Articuno. That way, like with Juniper, you know, worst case scenario, I just knock him out. Oh yeah, we definitely got it. So let's go in. I don't think that it makes any difference on the math if I attach that muscle band. So no, that doesn't make a difference. Though I could dual pump, you know, 
Oh, I could dual pump. Taking two prizes here feels really good. I think that like puts a lot of pressure on him. So uh, I think I am going to just do that. I retreat for three, so I get one back. That's probably fine. We don't need this Faba. Who am I kidding? We also don't need, we definitely don't need that Archie. So, ooh. oh no, gosh. All right, all right, all right, I messed up, I messed up. I needed to retreat first. That, oh, I do have three energy in there. I, did, I still needed to retreat first, but that's fine. Uh, I didn't mess up as bad as I thought I did. I thought I had like no energy in the discard pile and that was about to be like a devastating misplay, but that's fine. Oh, we missed out by one energy. Not ideal, should have retreated first, but it's fine. All right, don't watch too closely. All right, guys, just watch like kind of just a little bit. All right, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Quaken Poker for the sub here. All right, fellas, so we've got ourselves Articuno in the active. Let's get in here with Deluge. That's right, that's right, Otto. Otto's like the madman. He is going to take two prizes with Articuno. Now, if I do flip tails, I am gonna feel kind of bad, but I'm going for it here. We just want game. We want it right now. The muscle band doesn't make a difference. I don't think that the muscle band makes a big difference really anywhere. Uh, right now, so I might just save it. I don't think Otto's gonna end me. So, yeah, let's try Edge. One heads, come on. Just, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, busted deck. So good. Amazing, so we got there against the Solgaleo. Otto is on the back foot. That is what we're planning on. Yes, Blue Search GX will be our game plan for game there. We can thin our hand down and set up to draw more cards. We've got the, the retrieval in hand already. Otto has been really hampered by the fact that he was only able to get out one Bronzong this game. So that uh, that's definitely holding him back. He would have had a few more attacks that he missed, unfortunately, had he had out a second one. And uh, apparently now it looks like he has no supporters in play. So let's get in there. Blue Surge, come on. We need the wishy-washy now. We've got everything we need in here. Let's just Ultra Ball thin the, ooh, and we got Trainer's Mail. So I'm gonna start out by, I guess, like propagate, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna propagate here. Ultra Ball away the Faba, who I don't want, and also a Muscle, uh, no, no, we're Ultra Balling those two, those two things. That's fine. So we can get actually the, probably an egg, and we can Ultra Ball away the egg too, just to get those, yeah, that's fine. So we'll get egg out. And we'll Ultra Ball away two eggs. So we can propagate, yeah, I think, yes, everything here should be free. So I don't really need to do this yet. I think we're just at the trainer's mail part. I don't think that I'm actually gonna Ultra Ball for anything. Oh, I do wanna Ultra Ball for something. Okay, so we are going to Ultra Ball and we're gonna thin our deck even more. So we're going to get the Blastoise. And the cool thing is, is that we can actually discard that Blastoise with the Superior Energy Retrieval so that we just thin our deck even more, give ourselves more outs to being able to, yeah, we're gonna prop a Propagation, like I imagine like every time I propagate, it's like that SpongeBob episode where they're just like, imagination, except it's with propagation. <laughs> That's how we're gonna do it. All right, let's, uh, let's go here. Let's go now, let's go. All right, get all them energies back. One, two, three, four, beautiful. Now I do think that I'm kind of on my last leg here. So let's see how that trainer's mail buffs out. Ooh, let's see, we got Versus Seeker. We probably wanna just, ooh, what do we What do we actually got in the old discard pile here? I have all four superior energy retrievals. I think, I, I mean, obviously the Fisherman like wins me the game. Uh, Guzma wins me the game. So let's go and get that. Yeah, busto, all right. I think uh, I think Guzma wins me the game. So let's see, we Guzma up that shame in there. Do I have enough to like retreat and attack? I actually don't because I don't have any good attackers in play. So that's like kind of sad. Uh, I guess I could have gotten a, oh yes, the imagination. That's not SpongeBob, is it? Or is it? Uh, Cause South Park has that reference too. So I always get my references confused. We're gonna grab this versus Seeker here. And we gotta figure out what our route's gonna be. I think we're putting all these energies onto uh, the active 
uh, wishy-washy. Like, that's, like, definitely how we're going to win this game here. So we're going to do that. And then I think I just hold the Versus Seeker in my hand and set up for five new cards, and we'll kind of figure it out. Like, either way, I'm going to have to... Uh, dual pump muscle band on bronze or that would do it right oh yeah you guys are right that would totally do it so that would win the game huh no no because that would just take one prize I'm trying to take two prizes so let's uh, yeah let's just put this there yeah I need to take two prizes for a game so I need to knock out this uh, the shaman on the bench or I need to knock out that dusk main right there so we'll attach muscle band sure can go there and muscle band can go here and then I think I'm just going to set up for five and see what we're going to hit. Battle Compressor wins us the game. Um, also the, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Busto. Let's get the Fisherman, 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 and Energies. And we got it. So we get to Blue Surge GX4 game versus Seeker. Give it to me. Fisherman. Awesome Fisherman art there. I know. Hey, good game. Hello. Yeah. That was close. And also, smiley face and a heart. Well played, Otto. All right, Fisherman. And all we have to do is put one of them energies onto my wishy swashy GX. All right, Busto. Here we go. Deluge. And we got it. Blue Surge GX, 240 damage. What was looking like going to be a total wash ended up buffing out there. So, six stuff. Got him. Uh, I guess I have to, I really, they're going to make me move all my energy here, even though we won. That's all good. It's fine. There we go. Yeah, I just put all your energy back there on the Shining Volcanion there. Well played, Wishy Washy. And well played to Otto. He's been working on that metal deck pretty diligently. It's been a lot of fun to see the evolution of it. I like the idea of metal. I think it's just probably a little... Uh, I think it's a little underpowered, unfortunately, in expanded format. We could roll a game with Don Fan. I'm telling you guys, this Don Fan deck is kind of stressful, but we'll uh, we'll get the elephants out here. We'll bring out the elephants. We're gonna take a look at Don Fan. We play like four Wobbuffet. We get to just uh, you know kind of rock out with Wob out in the active, which is a lot of fun. So we'll see if we can. Play against anybody with Don Fan. This is one of Natalie's favorite decks, which, uh, you know, I mean, she built this list. I think it was like her and Matt Price were working on this list together. It's fun. And if we take too long, uh, if we're getting too long to roll expanded games here, ooh, my opponent's got a tail. Look at that. Mr. Safferdu, welcome to the party, Safferdu. We out here on Twitch. Let's get it. I lost the coin flip. Look at that. Look at that man right there, that whale man. Those teeth are awfully nice. I think Kyogre's got a little bit of an underbite, unfortunately. It's really, it's not fortunate, Kyogre. Sorry that they designed you that way, but yeah, it's looking like that uh, That bottom lip is definitely protruding. That's an underbite, my man. It's not what you want, you know, when you're a giant legendary fish. You'd rather not have an underbite if you could help it. But, you know, it's fine. You know, they just uh, you just got to live with that underbite. Maybe it helps them, like, uh, you know, catch some krill or some fish, something like that. Started with Wobbuffet, busted start, excellent. We got Wobman in the active position. It's got that bide barricade ability, meaning that abilities, except for psychic ones, don't work while he's in the active position. So my opponent can still tap Lele under this, though, and that does uh, kind of... Ruffle my feathers a little bit. Don't exactly dig that, that they can just tap Ulele under my wob lock, but it's fine, you know, they gotta have some balance to the card. We are going to be looking at probably playing Karina here, uh, turn one. So Karina will be our goal. We also have a nest ball, so we can get maybe another Fampy, maybe a Halucha, depending on what my opponent is playing. I've got plenty of like, I don't know, I got plenty of like float stones in my hand. Just don't have anything else, really. Uh, let's see. Oxella Sun, probably till like nine, another hour or so. So, another hour and a half, probably, maybe. Nine, about nine, nine thirty Eastern time, something like that. So, you know, we're just rocking a few hours tonight. And oh, yeah, we get to go for. Did my opponent let me go first? I lost the coin flip. I think they're not active. They were taking a very long time there for all of their things. So I think they rolled. And then their mom is like, Johnny, clean your room. Safadu, 
go clean your room. So he's like, oh, no, I don't want to, Mom. I'm rolling a game on PCGO. All right, we got computer search. We'll probably Karina for computer search, honestly. Feels like the best route here. Yeah, we could just get a Fampy. That's fine. And then Karina. Oh, thank you, Excelisun, for the bits. Appreciate it. We can Karina for, honestly, Don Fan or, you know, another Fampy. Probably a Fampy. And a computer search. That's fine. So we'll just end up computer searching for a good old draw supporter here. But not this turn. We'll wait till next turn to do it. And just pass to my opponent. No real reason to play any of these cards yet. I can hold on to my float stones, hold on to that choice band, hold on to the Guzma. Oh no, my opponent is very much here. They just elected to go second. All right, bold move opponent. We're gonna see how that works out for you. They probably, ooh, the <laughs> town map pass. <laughs> Woof, all right, they ain't got nothing going on here. I have an N. But I don't want to play it. Mm. They got that shame in the in in the active, you know, still as well. Can we actually like knock out a shame in this turn? I think that it's possible if we get like a halucha and the dream squad out here. Like we could. So I'm thinking I'm just going for win here, guys. Like I don't know. I think I'm just gonna get it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I probably should have got rid of the Guzma. It's fine. You know, here we are. Halucha to 60. 80. Oh, I could totally get it. Yeah, we're going for it. All right, let's get that dub. Let's get that money, Halucha. Let's get that dough. Let's go. Let's get it. And now's your time, Halucha. Spread your wings and fly. Oh, yeah. I think we got it. Did we get it? I think we got a strong energy. 60, 80, 110. That's right. No resistance, right? Is there no resistance? Yes. Oh, yeah. Busted, Halucha. Get it. Get it. Oh, I'm proud of you, my son. Let's go. Flying press. Uh, no resistance. Yes! Halucha. Still that boy, man. Check him out. Getting in there, man. It feels good to knock out a Shaman with a Halucha. Been a while since I've done that. So we'll take that win, honestly. That's fine. We'll not, you know. Cha-ching! Another one. 4-0. Let's go. Busted stream tonight. We're going to go in. Oh, three packs of Plasma Freeze. Who wants to open three packs of Plasma Freeze? I do. All right, so we're going to do it. Let's go to the collection. See what we got here. Pack of Roonies. Three packs of Plasma Freeze. Oh, Sean, did you trade me my man? Did you trade me the Reg of Rockinold? The, the Reginald Rock? Did you trade me Stone Cold Steve Austin? Did you trade me the Rock? <laughs> did you trade me the man? I'm looking for him. I need him, Sean. Didn't tell me that you traded me something. I don't have a Reggie Rock, so I can't do it. Give me a Golden Ultra Ball, please. Golden Ultra Ball. I will. I would love a Golden Ultra Ball. Nope. Instead, we got a Nidal Queen. That's fine. One more attempt at a Golden Ultra Ball. Let's go. Oh, I'm relaxed. I'm doing great. I am having a wonderful day. How are you doing? I'm relaxed. Thank you for joining us here on stream tonight. Another Nidal Queen. Back to back. It's fine. Got my sixth Nidal Queen there. We'll get there eventually. I've got six packs of Lost Thunder. Hmm, I'm gonna save those for trades probably if anybody had a Reggie Rock. Oh, Sean tells me that I do have a Reggie Rock. Thank you. All right, all you want is a Celebi Prism Star. Wow, generous trade there, Sean. Thank you. And then we can go into the deck manager and build the Groupon. All right, let's build him. Expanded, yup, expando, let's go. And I have to look at my phone. That's where the list is. I only have 10% battery remaining, so we're hoping that, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's hope that the phone doesn't die while I'm doing this. All right, first off, we need a dash of a Rangaroo. All right, let's get that resource management guy in there. That seems fun. We also need, ooh, I'm into this deck. Plays Buzzwole GX. Busto, let's get that full art one in there. Beautiful. And then we need two Groudons. Groudon EX. Where are you at, my boy? Ripclaw. There he is. And two Primal Groudons. Only a 2-2 line. Crazy deck, honestly. Crazy deck. Are these the same Groudon? The one? No, we need the Trump one? Okay, apparently we're supposed to play a split of Groudons, but I ain't, I ain't got that. I, I just don't think that the Trump is probably all that important. All right, we're going to play Reggie Rock. 
Uh, Reggie Rock. There he is. Brand new Reggie Rock. Can't believe I didn't have this card online. Honestly, that's weird. I feel like that's something that I should have had. And a Lele. Word. Where you at, Tapu? There you are. Oh, I've got my one full art Lele. That's sick. I forgot I had that. I could trade away another Lele. I should do that. I should probably, maybe I can give it away. I should give away one. Hmm. We, uh, Wabu Fett. I can give away a Tapu Lele. That'd be fun. Wabu Fett. If Natalie were here, she would help me figure out how to do that. All right. You guys saw me misspell Wabu Fett. Wab. There's two Bs, isn't there? All right. There we go. Four Wabu Fett. Beautiful duck so far. Like what we're cooking up. We play one B string. We also, whoo, that's not where we find B strings. We play one B string. Oh, check it out. I've got one secret rare B string busted. We play one counter catcher. We also play an enhanced hammer and a one escape rope, one escape rope. Enhanced hammer. There it is. And also escape rope, field blower, max potion. Escape rope, field blower. Oh, busted field blower, honestly. And max potion. And max potion, sick. I am so excited for Smash tonight, guys. I'm gonna stay up all night rocking that game. Very excited. Gonna play King Cruel. Get good. Hopefully, I have. Uh, I did not put a lot of time into the Wii U version of Smash. I just wasn't super into the Wii U like that. I loved Mario Kart. That's the game that I really played a ton on Wii U. Other than that, I didn't play a lot on the Wii U. I don't even think that I played. Zelda. No, I don't think I played Zelda either. Let's see. Scramble. But I did love, you know, everything that's come out for the Switch so far I love. Like, I loved the Zelda game for Switch. That was insane. Uh, Breath of the Wild was, like, nuts. You know, definitely a game that I fell in love with and played the heck out of. Let's Go. I really enjoyed Let's Go. I've also, I enjoyed Splatoon. I did play Splatoon on the Wii U, though. That is, uh, I'm lying a little bit. I did play Splatoon on the Wii U when it came out. That game was hype. Uh, one Ultra Ball. You're telling me to play one Singleton Ultra Ball. I don't even have a nice Ultra Ball to play. If only I had one. If only I'd opened one with all those Plasma Freeze packs. Speaking of Plasma Freeze, it's Plasma Freezing in here. It's so cold, honestly. You guys might see me, like, bundled up in the studio with tons of clothes on all the time. In the mornings, I like come in and I just wear my jacket for like recording. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just what I gotta do. It's really tough. Beach, oh, thank you, the red ginger. Ginger the red, red the ginger. Thank you so much for the sub, appreciate it. You rock, all you guys subs have uh, just warmed my heart, man. They just really keep me going. Love it, really excited about that. Tropical Beach. Shaking in here tonight, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for the stream. Building Groudon right now, so we're going to try and get some games in with Groudon. And guess what? We are definitely going to embarrass ourselves. It's been relatively good so far. I mean, I've played decks that I have a pretty good grasp on, and we've won four games. Had a couple scoops, but that's fine. I was probably going to lose my earlier game to that Greninja player, but you know, that Greninja player, I don't know, his mom, you know, started yelling at him or something and then he got in trouble and just, uh, you know, had to get off the computer. You guys ever have that? You know, my mom used to, Andrew Mark Mahone, get off that computer. Uh, yeah, so that used to happen sometimes. And then, uh, you know, and then you have to go, you're like, oh, gotta go. So that's probably what I imagine happened there. There are two pages to the, oh my gosh, there is so many one of cards in this list. Let's see, we've got ourselves Lusamines. Ooh, I think I do have a Full Art Lusamine, though. That's exciting. I love the Full Art Lusamine. I got one Full Art Lusamine and one regular Lusamine. That's fine. Wish I had both, but I don't. We got Lysander, three ends. This card, this deck doesn't seem like it plays like a lot of draw cards. Seems like this deck does a lot of sitting around, guys. I'm I'm not sure that I'm super good at decks that just like to sit around. <laughs> I think I'm usually more one of the uh, one of them are proactive deck type players. I really like decks that take prizes very quickly. Pokemon Center Lady. Do I have a full art one? I wish I did. That is a beautiful full art card. Pokemon Center Lady. There she is. Got two of those. Heals 60 damage. Pretty good. One Esteban's Resolve. 
All right, let's get that. Stevens. Pretty sure we got a Florida Stevens, though. Oh, yeah, we do. That's what I'm talking about. Get in there, Stevens. And then we need a float stone. We need the rock. Give me the rock. We're going to use an old rock. That's fine. Old, ugly green rock. Green rock floating in a digital abyss. Such a weird artwork. And two focus sash. And that's it. Oh, no. We need some energies. All right. Two focus sash. Beautiful. And our energy count. What is that? Oh, we know. We're not done yet. We also need a hard charm. Oh, my gosh. There's so much stuff in this deck. A hard charm. I guess we could search it all, our, all out with Karina, right? Hard charm. There we go. And then also a wishful baton. Oh, wishful baton is cute for this deck. I do like that. That's nice. And then we're on to the energy. Finally, we need ourselves some strong boys. Four strong energy. This is like the worst thing. I don't know why I did this. I used to have four matching strong energy, and then like I needed a pack for something. I think I was trying to build a deck one day, and I was like, you know, the only trade I could accept was that uh, you know someone was trading my fourth matching strong energy for uh, for the pack, and I shipped it. I was like, I won't mind this, and I just shipped it. And now it's like every single fighting deck I tried to build, I've got this three one split. Horrible. All right, so let's uh, let's do a nice little, I don't know, yeah, do a nice little mix it up here. Yeah, we got one of those. That's cool. Four fighting energy, right? Don't tell me the phone's dead. No, we got four fighting energy and then one psychic. How do I, how did I mess this up? All right. I need one psychic energy as well. All right, did you guys catch that? What did I mess up in here? All righty then. We've got two of something here that doesn't belong. Where we got an extra of something. Is it two Cynthia? No, we needed that. Is it the one Guzma? Four Karina. What it? You need two. Center Lady, thank you. Otto's on top of it. Thank you, Otto. Busted, busted mod, honestly. You're here for me, Otto. Thank you. Thank you for the bits, Epic Fuji. Appreciate it. Thank you for the love, man. All right. We got ourselves a final psychic energy. Psychic. And we're ready to roll. Oh, beautiful reverse hollow. There, save it. Groupon, let's go. Groupon EX deck. There we go, excellent. We will use a coin. I like the coins to be like, I usually use the Chansey coin, who am I kidding? Oh, the Underbite Kyogre, that's like one of the worst coins I've ever seen. All right, the Chansey coin's just a, ooh, Charizard. We're using Charizard coin. This is our big Charizard deck. It's not a Charizard deck, but you know, Groudon's big and powerful, kind of like a Charizard. Definitely the brown deck box. Save it, all right. Lock it, load it. Thank you all for your patience. We've got Groupon EX on board. Let's get him in here. See some action with Groudon. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Groudon, 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 there he is. Let's roll. So this is going to be an interesting game for sure. I have never played this deck. You guys saw me just uh, build it. This is going to be my first game ever with Groudon deck. So I'm relaxed. I am enjoying Twitch a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm trying to juggle both though. So I am going to be doing all of my streaming on Twitch though. So I'm going to be doing all of my streaming on Twitch and I will still create like standalone videos for YouTube. We're going to be doing both. I think we start the Buzzwall Groudon on the bench. That kind of seems like the route that you take yeah you definitely don't want that grout on in the active position there so we'll start i'm going first too so that's really good we'll start buzzwall and then get grout on here and then ideally you want to like i mean i guess i could have started the grout on and gotten like a float stone i suppose and then like gone into a wop so you know we're still we're still learning out here that's that's fine starting the oh my gosh what in the world am i playing against and sure enough, there's Wob. So we'll, uh, yikes. I think we just go for Karina, get myself a float stone. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves, uh, let's see, escape rope's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I think I like escape rope. Like, I don't know. I and mean, I guess we like bring up the buzz wool or the, you know, probably the buzz wool will come into the active position, but it makes it so that my opponent can't really do anything. We'll grab an escape rope and then, so that way I don't have to put a float stone on my grout on in case I don't feel like it. And then we'll grab a primal grout on as well. And then, um, that sounds fine. Yeah, we'll do that. 
And then we are going to play that escape room. Very good. And then we're going to play the beach. So my opponent will bring something up here, and we'll throw that wob into the active position, which would be good. I don't actually know, like, what <laughs> in the world kind of deck my opponent is playing. If this is Buzz Rock with Talonflame, my opponent is just, like, way too intelligent for me and is, like, you know, big brain something serious here. And we'll beach for three. All right, we got Floatstone. We've got Versus Seeker. We can get another Karina on board, so that's really good. I did not see myself put a Spirit Link into this deck, so apparently we don't play Spirit Links. We just slap our Groudons down, and that's fine. We probably want to get that Groudon into play as soon as we can, so we'll do that next turn if we have the technology. If not, I've got Guzma. I also have Floatstone. I could do both of those in order to evolve into Mega Primal Groudon. Oh, here he is. That's not where you belong, sir. That's fine, though. We've got what we need in order to get that wob back out into the active position. We'll, uh, yeah, just chuck that wob up there. Very good. Now, the Talonflame is concerning, though, because my opponent, uh, my opponent can just continue to search out two cards with Arrow Blitz. So that's, like, not what we want at all. We don't want them drawing good cards when Wobbuffet's out. That's the opposite of what we want. That was a very busted top deck for me, because now I don't feel bad at all about going in with the Guzma, which is what I want to do. I think I want to uh, bring out that Buzzwool again. Uh, or, no, no, we're going to Guzma up the Remoraid. Duh. All right, we're going to bring up that Remoraid. And then we're going to attach an energy here. And we're just going to, sure, yep, and Mega Evolve. Boom, there he is. We got ourselves a Groupon. We did pretty good. Now he ain't going nowhere. He's got an ability, um, not an ability, it's like a, a, a trait. I think they're called like Omega Barrier. It's a trait there at the top, if you see that. Whenever your opponent plays a trainer card, excluding Pokemon tools and stadium cards, prevent all effects of that done to Promo Groudon. So basically they can't Guzma it up. So yeah, that's good. What in the world is this? We got a Lolling Grimer on their side of the board as well. Apparently they also play Muck. But the Octillery's in play. They won't be able to use it, though. They do have an N. That makes sense. They probably grabbed themselves that off of the Talonflame. I don't mind an N at all. This hand is, like, good, but it's, you know, it's not necessary. Like, that That was fine. And then I'm not sure that I have another Mega Groudon in the deck. I don't think that I actually do. Oh, I just got next leveled. All right, my opponent can Octillery now because of this guy. Yikes. It's not exactly how we want it to go down, but we do play four beaches, so we should be okay here in order to, like, Octillery, not Octillery, we should be okay in order to, you know, counter that so there's no more of this Octillery action going on, right? Crescent, I believe uh, I'm with you there, yes. I also don't like playing against Greninja Break, though I don't think that Greninja Break is all that popular in Expanded. I always, like, you know, usually I'll roll against it like once in a session. If I sit down to play, uh, I'll play against it like one time. What is this? Is that the beast energy? Oh my gosh. My opponent is really, really doing something crazy over there. Let's uh, for sure uh, enhance Tamer that thing. That There's like not a better card I could have possibly used that for. I think we just detach this energy here. I like don't want a Lele, but I feel like it kind of should. Can you get a stadium off of Karina? I don't think that you can. See, an item card, yeah, does definitely not. So we could get the Lele here. I don't really feel like, uh, I don't really feel like just draw passing for like turn after turn. I think I have to more or less eventually do something. So yeah, that's fine. We'll put a Lele down. Not what we wanna do, but it's, uh, oh, you're right. Thank you, Otto. You saved me just in time. Sign Lab's down, so that's fine. We're not going to play the Lele. We're just going to pass. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you guys for screaming. That's why I took a long time to do that. I was like, yeah, that Lab's in play. We knew the Lab was in play. I was talking about the Lab being in play. So it's fine. We didn't do it. We didn't do it, guys. You saved me. You saved me. We're very good. We're just going to pass. <laughs> we're just, we're just going to stay calm <laughs> and pass. Forgot entirely about the Silent Lab there. So that was a close one. But fortunately, I've got some good friends keeping me on track there. That muck is coming into play, too. And then we're definitely not. Hey, we didn't do it, though. It would have been way worse if we'd actually done it. It's cool. Maybe Lele wanted to join the party. You guys don't know. Lele, like, really wanted to be on the bench. Like, he was asking. He was, like, begging these. Please, Andrew, put me down. It's fine. 
Uh, everybody's put down a Lele under Silent Lab. We've all done it, literally all done it. So it's fine. It's close, but you know, it's fine. We say we got saved there. Mm. Expanded is a lot of fun. Uh, there are just like way a ton of like card interactions. Huge pool of cards to work from. It's just uh, it is a little bit daunting sometimes just because of the sheer number of cards that are legal in expanded format to kind of get a grasp around what you're, oh yeah, all right, I'm business now. All right, guys, no, I'm not, that muck is there. Ugh, bad. All right, we're gonna get rid of uh, probably, hmm, the muck is just keeping my Lele from working, so at this point, there's really no point. It's fine, I'll get rid of the choice pan and the, and the floodstone, that's okay. Oh, thank you so much, Volcanic Tiger, for the bits. Do you think Retaliation Umbreon could be good with Giratina and Black uh, Black Market Prism Star? I think it's probably not Black Market Prism Star. I, or is Black Market Prism Star a thing? Uh, I actually have not heard of any of those cards, so that's why I, have, I saw you ask that earlier. So the Retaliation Umbreon, I don't really know what that is. So if you could explain it to me, I would love to hear about it. All right, I think that I am just in Pass Town again, so... That's just kind of what we got going on. Yup, ain't got nothing interesting. All right, we'll wait. We'll get a beach here eventually. That's fine. Maybe next turn, maybe later, maybe somewhere down the road. We'll top deck out of this, but that's fine. Groudon just is a deck that likes to sit. We just like to sit and hang out. We got our Groudon here. That's fine. We prized our other Primal Groudon, so he is the only one, right? That is the only Groudon that we get. Right now, we also have Buzzwool and our Beast Ring in hand, which is very funny to me that we play Beast Ring in here. Just in, I guess, just in case we could Karina for it if we wanted to. Shining Stars, uh, thank you very much for the for the love there. Appreciate it. Doing uh, doing my best out here, so really do what I can. All right, Blue Badooper, Black Market, Trainer Stadium. Can't have more than one Prison Star card. Very good. Whenever, whenever either player's uh, dark Pokemon with dark energy attached to it is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, the opponent takes one less prize card. As long as the stadium is in play, whenever a player uses an item or supporter card from the hand, yes. Okay, so it prevents prizes from... Oh, busted. All right, I'll do that. Uh, gladly. All right, we're going to Pokemon Center Lady. Very good. So, uh, yeah. All right, yeah, pass it to you, my guy. We still out here chilling. Hello from Brazil. Hello, Winchester from Brazil. Thank you for joining us. Let's see. Uh, Volcanic Tiger saying it does 30 for one dark energy, but if you add a Pokemon KO during your opponent's last turn, it does 120. That does sound very good. I am a little uh, skeptical around planning decks around Prism Star cards or stadiums. I think Ditto Prism Star is really the only kind of card that, like, you know, it's super easy to rely on Ditto Prism Star because, like, you know, he's just like uh, this kind of wild card. He can be anything, right? But planning a, you know, planning a deck around a stadium card, you don't want that to be like an integral part of your strategy. You don't want it to be the most important part of your strategy. So even though that stadium does sound super dope, I'm sure that stadium will definitely be good in something. Like that stadium sounds insane. So dark Pokemon with darkness energy attached to them, just like you take less prizes when you knock them out. That's nuts, right? But uh, I think that the... You know, that uh, that Umbreon sounds pretty good as well. Hey, we got this too, so that's good. Umbreon sounds pretty good. I think we need to start attaching things. So I think the Wishful Baton seems like a good thing to put there. And I think we also probably need to put that crowd on down. I could switch into another Wobbuffet just to draw more cards here. <laughs> But it feels bad to put that Groudon down just knowing I'm not getting the other... Yeah, yeah, I don't think that I could do that. Yeah, we just got to switch into this guy. That's fine. And then we'll... Uh, ah, we're just going to... We're going to beach. That's very good. Excellent. I'll take it. So, hmm. Let's see. What do we got going on? But yes, the... Uh, I think the Umbreon sounds cool. I'm really excited about Zapdos. That's like what I'm stoked on. That new Zapdos coming out in the next set looks insane i'm also really stoked on jolteon gx i think jolteon gx looks incredible as well 
what does my all right can someone at, like answer me what in the world my opponent is doing over here like i know i'm playing groudon but like goodness gracious what in the world is this deck like, i'm not knocking it or anything i just have no idea what like is actually going on we've got talent flame we've got a lolan muck we've got uh, apparently also lichen rock and buzzwolves uh, I just am very, very, and silent labs. I, I'm very, you know, tilted by what my opponent has got going on on their side of the field. It just seems like a lot. Finally, we do have an end, though, so we are going to be able to uh, kind of draw a little bit. That is good. I feel like uh, I probably save the basic fighting energy in the deck. That seems good. Though this Wishful Baton does like uh, energy to be passed to it, so that's great, too. So we'll, we'll do the basic energy. That's fine. And then, oh, my stadium got filled. This is horrible. I'm not going to have any stadiums for, oh, I'm not going to have any stadiums for my man, for Gaia Volcano. Oh, that's that's horrible. So let's see here. We can put the Focus Sash onto my Buzzwall. That's pretty good, though. I don't think any of my guys are going to be like one hit KO, though. So eh, you never know. That's probably fine to go there. Just because I think that this feels like a Buzzwall grout on game doesn't feel like a double grout on game to me right now but yeah never know all right we're just gonna end lucamine gets them back thank you thank you i need to find a lucamine i ain't got no lucamines all right so we got a karina for next turn that'll do that'll do but how in the world am i supposed to get a lucamine mm, all right that's fine we'll get there eventually so the zapdos looks insane yeah i know it's like i don't like, I think the Zapdos looks good, but I don't understand how it was, like, 30% of Japan's metagame. Like, that seems like an awful lot, if you ask me. Like, uh, the card seems good, but I didn't understand it was, like, format-defining. It's just got a little attack that does 10 plus 70 more if it came active that turn. And it's got, like, 110 hit points and a retreat cost of 2, so... Let's see. With that, Umbreon, would you recommend Shrine of Punishment or Altar of the Moon? Uh, wouldn't Shrine of Punishment damage it? Or is it a non-GX Umbreon? Is it non-GX or is it GX? I need to know that for sure. So, let's see. We could, uh, hmm. Yeah. We're, we're definitely going to Karina this turn. That's, like, for sure. We got Scramble Switch. Ah, uh, hmm. We just give up on the Groudon and just Scramble Switch into <laughs> <laughs> into the uh yeah we get versus seeker i guess and then also a fighting pokemon that just like feels really bad let's see here ultra ball max potion all of this feels horrible let's see we could get the scramble switch i guess and eventually go into buzzwell that just is like that's no bueno we get a float stone float stone would help us out of this one a little bit and actually be able to do something we could start jet punching. That's probably fine. I mean, jet punch seems okay. Like at this point, like no one's doing anything here. So uh, yeah, I think we need to get that. Uh, and we can't even get a fighting Pokemon. So I think, uh, let's just get the first seeker. We'll go for like an N or something. We'll get like N or something next turn. What am I thinking about playing for what? Anaheim? Oh my gosh. I would like to play like probably Buzzrock or Blastoise. Those are like my two favorite decks. Let's attach a Fighting Energy here to Buzzwool. That seems okay. We're going to let up so many prizes, honestly. And then here. And then let's just pass to my opponent. We're letting up so many prizes with all this Wobbuffet action going on. This is just a long, grindy game here. Thank you, the Zombie Taco, for that bit. Uh, bits out here be wild. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So, yeah. We got that buzzle. All basic energy, too. I don't think... Oh, no. We saw the one beast energy. But we haven't seen any strong energy get dropped yet. So was able to hammer away that one copy of Beast Energy, which is good. That would have escalated my opponent's strategy a whole lot. Guys, I don't know. I feel like Groudon is just like a slow, boring deck. This is not my kind of deck. I, I like having much more fun, like really getting in there and like attacking and stuff. This is like, uh, yeah. Oh, Crescent Phoenix, are you... <laughs> <laughs> are you uh, are you disappointed that I'm not playing a more creative deck in Anaheim other than either Blastoise or Buzzrock? That's fine. I uh, honestly, uh, you know, it's expanded format. I'm going to do my best next turn, uh, or I'm going to do my best next week to try and see if we could cook up anything original. 
I do like Vespa Queen. Uh, that's like kind of my third deck. Vespa Queen, Zeb Striker. I like Vespa Queen, Zeb Striker a lot as well. Buzzwell GX. Uh, let's see. Question: Is Buzzwell GX a good deck in the future? Buzzwell GX is uh, a deck that is just so strong. I think Buzzwell is such a strong card that it'll be hard for it to ever just really go away. I think it is in kind of a suboptimal place right now, especially with those Zapdos is coming out, are resistant to fighting, and that's like not what you want. So, <laughs> oh gosh, auto. Uh, that's not great, but. It's fine. I think that this uh, the Lycan Rock can actually bring my Groudon into the active position. So this is like horrible, but you know whatever. It's fine. Maybe we should have had this thing benched. So that's like a probability there. But oh, Spoon Sauce eggs with Rebirth Ho O E X. I was thinking about Rebirth Ho O E X the other day, and I was like, what deck could you play Rebirth Ho O E X in? I don't really know that there is a deck that like you could just splash it into that it would be good. And the damage output it on is like a little underwhelming right now, I think, unfortunately. Oh, it's not even knocked out. Just here's Johnny. He's in the active position. Oh, well, Primal Groudon, you're a little in over your head here, but that's fine. We're going to bench this guy, and we're, we're going to attack, okay? We're definitely just going to do that. There's no other, like, we just have to attack. So I need to find a... Yeah, we just definitely want to find ourselves a... Uh, stadium card so that we can knock out this buzzwall. So we're going to go in. Let's go N, 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 N. Okay. So we're going to end my opponent. And my opponent has like not done a great job at actually taking prize cards. They haven't done all too much this game. But we do have an opportunity to get a beach here. And we missed. All right. So this, uh, this Groudon's out here now, though. There's no turning back. Like, he is here. For sure. So we just got a guy off Volcano for like nothing. This is just horrible. That's not what you want. This seems like kind of a bad matchup, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, you know, not super into it. The, uh, <laughs> uh, not a bad matchup. Like, I think like Buzzwell chipping away at you is not good. I mean, I guess the Hard Charm's probably your item of choice on these Groudons, so it can't take snipe damage. That's probably the best. But, yeah, we really needed to hit the stadium there, and I'm feeling like my opponent is just able to set up a crazy board while I just, like, sit back and just get punished for playing the world's slowest deck. Like, I can't ever imagine going to a tournament and playing this effort. This is just like, oh, my gosh. Oh, Rayquaza GX, ho -oh, GX, or ho -oh, EX. Gus says, that's awesome. That sounds, like, really cool, actually. So... I guess the, you know, you play Rayquaza. Right, you talk about Mega Rayquaza or Rayquaza. Ooh, Rayquaza GX. I like that. I mean, it can bring back two energy, so why not? I like that a lot. Uh, I was thinking about that. Uh, it does just bring back two energy, but the two energy boost could be a big deal. So you could play big basics. I'm going to build that. We're going to play that next. I'm going to do that next. So we're, uh, we're going to do that. Oh, Sean is saying that I have to mill him now. Uh, how will I mill? What, with Ripclaw? Uh, you're telling me I just try to rip claw him to death and and Guzma and then mill him out for his final 10 cards? Honestly, who on the, in the world in the stream would want to watch me try and do that? That seems like a horrible way to win a game. But I guess that's, uh, yeah, Gus, that's a great idea. I'll actually roll that next if this Primal Groudon game ever ends. If I can ever actually get out of Primal Groudon, then I will, uh, I'll check that out. Uh, I think that sounds pretty good. So let's see here. He's got ten. Oh, he's only got two left now. I think I can. Uh, I think I could do it. Sean loves mill decks. That's what Sean is all about. So, Sean is probably gonna try and get me to mill him out here. But that's. Uh, <laughs> he's been doing nothing for like twenty minutes now, which feels bad because then I feel like I've also been doing nothing for twenty minutes. Uh, like, I don't really understand what his deck is supposed to even do. He's also got, like, Naganadel in there. Like, did he just... And the thing, I might lose to this, you know? Ray Ho and Expanded. Oh, cool stuff. All right, so this guy is almost a goner now. We can Karina for a Scramble Switch. That would be pretty cool. I guess we don't need to do that, though, because, like, yeah, there's no real point in doing that. Well, we could Lucamine for Stadium back. Too little, too late, Lucamine. We needed you earlier. So there's that. Um, 
we knock out this guy in the active. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, let's just attach another strong energy to our, our man here. We're just going to hmm, lose some mean, bring something back. Karina could do something. Uh, scramble switch? You think scramble now? What, to this guy? I guess if we could massive rend for 130. That seems fine. But I'm going to get to pass the energy with the wishful baton anyway. So, like, I'm not really excited about that play, but I mean, I guess. Right? So, like, uh, that could be a thing. The max, oh, scramble, oh, but we can't get the max potion, too. We need both of them in the same hand. Uh, I will scramble switch, and then maybe we'll get the max potion next turn. That's, like, going to be the, uh, that's going to be the, the juice, I think. Sean's saying that I should just mill. I think I can jet punch him for knockout, so we'll, uh, Let's see, but I can't scramble switch into the buzzwell. That sounds horrible, yeah. So I think we're just, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll scramble switch. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, we'd like to take all of the energy, sir. Yes, at least like, you know, four of it, please. So let's see, we got, can I massive run for knockout yet? No, I need to, I need to get all four. All right, we'll do that. Fine. Okay, now we've got this guy in the active position who's way in over his head. He's a uh, short, massive rent. He's about to get just lichen rocked. See, so, like, I don't see why that was like a good play. Scramble switch felt bad there. But anyways, that's fine. We do got counter catcher. Thank you, Volcanic Tiger, for the bits. Uh, says the Umbreon GX is a non-GX. I know, Arabux. I shouldn't listen to Sean. Sean told me to do this. So this is not my deck. Sean told me to do it. All right, Sean told me to do this. This seems like a horrible idea. I need to leave this man in the active position. He's going to just like and rock me, dude. I guess, like, I can go in and then buzzwall him. So, like, that's the game plan right now is that when we're going to buzzwall. Uh, and I've already wasted my scramble switch, so he's, like, never getting powered up again. So... I know. Sean messed it up. That was Sean's play. Sean was telling me to do it. This is Sean's deck, so, you know, I should have looked at that a little careful, a little more careful. No, Sean, bad idea, bad. It's fine. We got uh, we got knockout on this Lycanroc, I think. We just need a fighting energy. Fighting energy is a lot to ask for right now, though. I don't think that I'm going to be able to find one. We kind of have to just blow all of our resources here in order to find it. That's fine. The Wobbuffet, too. It's cool. We'll Ultra Ball away the Lusamine and the Primal Groudon. We're getting everything. Let's take a look at the deck real quick. All right. What do we got? We got two energy. All right. And we'll Cynthia for six, and hopefully we hit it. That's really all we got. We got nothing else. All right. Come on. Oh, yeah. Busted, honestly. Broken. Okay. And then we could just GX this thing. We could still win the game. Let's go. Get it. Absorption GX. Can we can we hit it? Let's see. I should do my math first. All right. So two four six plus. Uh, no, that's not enough. Oh, you're telling me I need a knuckle impact. Oof. So let's see. Absorption DS. Uh, one sixty. That is enough. Eighty. One sixty. Two four six. Oh yeah, we could do it. All right. Absorption GX. Let's go. Get it out of here. All right. Andrew had to do some math real quick, but we got it. Ooh, we got our Reginald Rock here and another Fighting Energy. That's very good. I think, uh, let's see, unless my opponent's got some, you know, master plan to knock out this Buzzwool GX. They're telling me, well played. Oh, no, they're scooping. Okay, so, like, we, we got there. I know. I'm just saying. Like, I don't think that they can do it. A math emote. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm relaxed. Math emote would be very good. I think, uh, yeah, my opponent had a very creative deck. They did. They had a very, very creative deck. It was very cool. I don't think that they're going to be able to win, though. I think they just are going to take a knockout on this Wobbuffet, and then I just get to blow up that Buzzwool with a Knuckle Impact for game. So that's going to be pretty rad. Let's build Ray, and then also, oh, did they have it? Oh, they just won. They won. Never mind. I didn't think he got it. Loopa duper, you right. <laughs> My opponent's got Jeff Hunts for a game. So that's fine. We couldn't get there. Uh, it was close, though. We had to have the max potion off that uh, in order to save the guy. But, yeah, we didn't get there. It's fine, guys. We were close, you know. Never playing Groudon again, though. So we're going to pack that up. That was horrible. Groudon killed my win streak. We were on, like, a four win streak. That was horrible. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go in with Ray, guys. Expanded Ray. That sounds fun. Uh, Sean, no, that deck was not fun to play. I am never doing that again. That was horrible. Uh, I will keep the beaches, though. Thank you. All righty, then. What do we got? Ray Expando. Let's edit that Ray Expando deck. Let's put some Ho-Ohs in there. See, do I own any Ho-Oh GX? That would be pretty cool. 
Let's check the collection, see if I own any Ho GX. I'm trying Ho EX, excuse me. There's a difference. All right. Ho O. Ho O O. All right, we got um yeah. Is that the one? No. Wrong one. Purifying fire, wrong. 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 I don't have any Ho EXs. These are all Ho GXs. That's a Ho EX right there. It's the wrong one. Ah. All right, no, we need the other one. So let's head on into that trade there. See if anybody's got any ho o e x. You're right, Cress. It didn't. That deck is like it takes like 30 minutes, just to, 40 minutes, just to play a game with that deck. That's insane. I'll try it again another night when I got like maybe a co-pilot in here to help me out. Let's see ho o e x. Is it like this? Is that how it looks? That's definitely not how it looks. How do you look? Ho o e x. Ho o e x. Ho o ho o. Ho o e x, please. I would like a ho o e x. That's fine. I don't really, I don't know. If the whole OEX ain't going to be out here, let's see. What do you, what's a whole OEX go for these days? Probably too many packs, if I had to guess. But, you know, it's all good. We'll see if there's even any on the trade. I think they do have the dashes. I think that's how it, ho -O -E -X. There we go. All right, we see some ho -E -X action in here. This is all stuff. Oh, look at that beautiful card, honestly. That thing's insane. Amazing. Uh, no. Oh, my gosh. Stoutland. That, talk about horrible decks to play. Stoutland. Yikes. That's brutal. Um, lots of ho-ho here, but they're all looking for ho-hos. So I'm going to have to hop to it, start opening some, what in the world is that, Dragon's Exalted packs? Oh, my gosh. I don't want to open any. Let's see. What is this? Am I getting a ho-ho? I could get four of the wrong ho-ho EXs. All right, not exactly what I'm looking for, guys. Okay, so we're gonna rock some other games. Yeah, other decks. The ho -O -E -X situation is not happening right now. So let's do, um, hmm, I don't really feel like I'm playing Expanded anymore. We're gonna hop over to Standard. Standard time! We're gonna play at least a few games in Standard before we call it quits on tonight. I do have to go home and kinda Get ready to go get my midnight release of Smash Brothers. So I need two ho -O -E -X, Sean. That's what I need. Two ho -O -E -X is what the doctor's ordering. We need to have Decidueye Ninetales. I think I have my Guardi deck back. I think I could play Guardi. Guardi Ninetales. Let's see. Can we play that? Let's play it. Guardi Ninetales. Let's get in there. What's the best Rayquaza in your opinion? Ray E X, Ray G X, or Mega Ray? Mega Ray is super rad. Uh, the Mega Ray deck was just so good, so powerful. Uh, Pseudo Wudo and Parallel City really are kind of tough for Mega Ray to deal with in expanded format uh, right now. Pseudo Wudo just being in like almost every deck just because of Zorark. And even though like Zorark's not even playing Skyfield anymore, Zorark is kind of hip to that and just plays like control cards now. So that is really good. Let's see. We got a lector here. We got a DCE. We're gonna make some things happen. We're gonna make the magic work. Get some things out into play with our guardy deck. Let's get in there, Cosmog. Sweet. So we got ourselves a Lele as well. It's perfect. But the lecture is what we're looking for. Turn one. We can get only one Ralts in the deck. Beautiful. And we can also get a Mudkip and probably a Ditto Prism Star. That seems fine because we only have one Ralts in the deck. We also probably want a Vulpix, though, but apparently I have none. <laughs> I have apparently prized two Vulpix and two Ralts. So that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. The Ditto Prism Star can evolve into a Ninetales as well, so that's fine. We're just going to have to buff this hand out a little bit, uh, and definitely without a beacon. So let's. Uh, we got the Brooklyn Hill as well. That's pretty busted. Uh, I guess, but do we really need two Swamper? We can't, yeah, uh, that seems bad. I don't want to put a, another Mudkip down. Yikes. All right, yeah, so I'm not gonna. I think I saved that bench spot. I mean, two Swampers just seems excessive, so we're just going to uh, pass here. And I think we just leave the Cosmog in the active position. That's gonna be a yikes for me, guys. And there's no point in really retreating into anything. I think we just go for the turn two Solgaleo. So, uh, Crescent Phoenix, no, I cannot rare candy that ditto. That is uh, just not, not something that I could do. What's up, Dadazard? Welcome to the party. 
hanging out here, playing Guardy. Guardy party. That's what we got going on. Nest ball coming down from my opponent. They look to be playing Vika Ray, which should be a fine matchup for me if I can get my gentleman into play. Well, Dadazard, I was doing just fine until Sean told me to do a scramble switch. That was not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. It's fine, honestly. We're doing pretty well. We've been very positive on the night. I think we're like 4-1. Now, we did have one guy, you know, drop on me and another guy scoop, but I'm still, hey, I'm still taking it, 4-1. and one. That's fine. I think I'm going for it here. I think we're going to evolve into a little Ninetales, and we're going to get the turn to Solgalia. That seems fine. And then we're going to go from there. I mean, I don't know. Either way, the DCE on the active doesn't feel horrible. That's fine. Sure, ship it. And then we're going to, yes, go get a supporter card. We could get Lily here, which is like a weird play. I've got two rare candies in my hand, so like if we just hit an Ultra Ball, like that's good. But I feel like Cynthia is probably just the better play. Oh, it all feels bad. I prized all the wrong things, but it's cool. We're going to do it this way. Let's just go in with another Cynthia. And shuffle draw six. Get six new ones. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Okay, I think that we have to dust <laughs> dust gathering here. And uh, judging by my opponents eat their paradise, I'm thinking that this is not actually Vika Ray and that this is Vika Bulu. Yes, I, I'm betting that that's Vika Bulu, guys. Uh, let's draw some cards. All right. Ballin. Oh, yeah, we got an Ultra Ball. We're good to go. We are in this game. I'm not losing this one. I am not I am not going to cower in fear to this Bulu deck. Definitely not. My opponent with a turn two Vika Vault. No problem. It's fine. We are uh, still just going to be totally, totally fine. Totes fine. No problems whatsoever. They are charging up that Vika Vault, though. Apparently, this is their game plan, is that they're going to energy drive my Cosmog. Very bad. Okay, so what do we do? Do we actually just... I'm, like, close to knocking out this Tapu Lele, <laughs> uh, but I can't quite do it. I could get... I need to get Choice Band. I have a Choice Band in the deck. Um, I can do it. I can do it. I think I can do it. All right, we're going to do it this way. Let's go. I need a Choice Band. So I think we Ultra Ball away the Max Potion and the Professor Elm. I probably Elms first. Do I have any other Pokemon in the deck? I think I have like a, this is just a Mudkip, honestly. So that's like kind of horrible. So I think I'm going to get rid of those guys. So we're going to go and we're going to see what we can get with that Alola Ninetales. So Alola Ninetales, we can get two items. We'll probably want a Timer Ball and we need to hit it. And then we also want a Choice Band. That's fine. Okay. Busted. And that's what, that's what we're going to do. All right. So that way we get the knockout on that Lele. And we'll just kind of spring ahead here. That would be good. And then hopefully uncover some of the atrocious things in my prize cards. Okay. So we'll uh, get this. I guess I could guarantee it with Ultra Ball. But Ultra Balling away that Super Boost feels bad. But who needs the Super Boost, honestly? We'll hit it. We're totally gonna hit it. We're gonna be fine. Andrew, just calm down. You're gonna you're gonna hit the timer ball like a champion. You got it. You got it right here, Slugger. Come on. Oh yeah. Gosh, I'm good at this game. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna get a Marsh Stomp, probably, and a Guardy. That seems good. Okay. Um yeah, Marsh Stomp. Okay. That's that's the game plan. Marsh Stomp Guardy. All right. Got him. We'll rare candy into Gardevoir. We got the secret spring. We've got the DCE. We've got everything. Oh, yeah. We are cruising out here now. Let's secret spring onto Gardevoir and get that knockout. Bet you weren't expecting this with all those prize cards looking so ugly. Twilight GX. Just kidding. Infinite Force. Get him. Go get him, Gardevoir. You did so good. Let's get some basics out of my prize cards, please. I think I literally prized all of them. So the R, the odds are uh, pretty high there of ripping some Ralts. So that's pretty good. I still am like in the woods, though. I'm still not out of it yet. My opponent didn't really play a supporter card last turn, so I'm hoping that their hand is still just super dead. They can knock me out with this Vika Vault. But no, they have Volkner. You know what's the difference between Tapu Bulu, Vika Volt, and Vika Ray is? Is that 
you know, the Rayquaza's got Tempest GX. That just, like, makes the deck way better. Uh, I don't really like Bulu just because Bulu doesn't have Tempest GX. Those are, like, my major concerns with Bulu. Yeah, is that uh, he also has to discard his energy every time, which is... Uh, Kind of whack. I'm not super into that. I love that Vika Volt and Rayquaza. You just get all the energy in play, and then you just knock out everything. It's awesome. So, let's see, my opponent's got Rescue Stretcher. They're going to go get a Lele, more than likely. What's up, Rob? Welcome to the party. Hanging out here playing some Guardi. Awesome. Uh, my opponent's probably going to go get a Draw Supporter. That would be good for them right now. That is definitely what they want to see. So, looking at this, this week of all, it's going to take a decent bite out of my Guard of War with Electro Cannon. They're going to crack it for like 150 damage. That's kind of tough, but it's fine. Uh, if we knock out their Vika Volt this turn, honestly, I don't think that they're probably going to be able to build up a backup Vika Volt. A very, oh, did they Cynthia already? That was quick. Okay. They did not Cynthia. They Volkner this turn. That's right. They Volkner for the Rescue Stretcher. So they can't Cynthia because they Volkner already. Duh. All right. So that's good. Let's get that thing out of there. And then uh, there's nothing to Brooklet for. So that's that's okay, though. We will... Oh. Let's see here. We do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Is that enough? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. All right. Perfect. Bust it. I guess I could attach both of them. That just feels really bad. So, like, we're probably just going to attach the one here and then try to save the super boost for something else. So that's fine. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Busted. All right. Infinite Force. Let's get him out of there. Oh, Orho Chris having issues with Weavile Spread. That is a... Tough deck for ability reliant decks. You need to kind of just be careful with how you lay down your Pokemon. Make sure that you don't over uh, over commit to energy uh, or to ability Pokemon on board. Try to limit your opponent's damage. The thing about Weavile deck is that you're actually in control of how much damage they could do at all times. So they just. Uh, you know, if they you don't want them to do 200 damage, don't put four ability Pokemon in play. You got to just keep three. Just try to keep them in line that way and try to attack with your non-GX attackers if you have any. So I agree, Crescent Phoenix. I agree. This is, uh, you know, this this Guardi is uh, insano right now. AB Zug. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for joining us. Sorry your internet's laggy, though. That's unfortunate. Uh, where are you at right now that your internet is so laggy? My opponent's got a Grubbin, a Bulu, and a Lele with two energies. So I'm looking at, like, there's no way I get three Stage 2 Pokemon in play. There's no way I'm knocking this thing out. I got Super Boost. I got a Swampert. Yeah, we're going to Beacon. That's just what we're going to do. We need to rebuild. We are in our rebuild phase. All right, so we can do, oh my gosh, both of these cards are so bad to trade away. I think I need to beacon. They're only doing 40 damage right now, but they're probably gonna take that knockout. Oh my gosh. Think as, I mean, can I really afford to trade away that Guardi? I don't think so. It's just a tough call no matter what. I just need, a, like, a rescue stretcher or something. I don't even know if I play one, though. We're going to evolve that for sure. Honestly, the super boost energy just might not come into play this turn. It just might not. So Or this game. So I think I actually have to just get rid of it. Uh, the odds of me getting three stage two Pokemon into play, very small. Because it's just, uh, you guys have seen the game. I prized, like, infinite amounts of things. So here we can, like, Ultra Ball, I guess, for an Alola Ninetales. We could evolve it, and then uh, that's fine. Yeah, we could do that. So let's just, uh, let's just get these guys out of here. That's fine. We'll get ourselves an Alola Ninetales, even though it feels really bad. And then we can get ourselves an Energy Lotto and a Rare Candy. Nope, that's not going to do it. We could get ourselves a rare candy and a, I guess an energy lotto helps draw through some cards. We get ourselves a rare candy and, do, do, do. all right, that's fine. We'll go in there with the Alolan Ninetales. Alolan Ninetales is unfortunately going to take a little hit. 
But we do play Max Potion. Yes, I would like to put two item cards in my hand, please. All right. Oh, thank you, Volcanic Tiger, for the bits. Let's see, we probably get a Max Potion here and a Rare Candy, and then we're just going to, like, continue drawing next turn. So that's that's okay. That's just kind of what we got going on. We'll use that Max Potion next turn, kind of glance that hit off. We'll get another Guardian to play. And, yeah, that's what we got. Go ahead, sir. The ball is in your court. Uh, that's uh, that definitely is just an unfortunate unfortunate series of events there. I can't believe I prized two Ralts and two Vulpix. I don't exactly love the idea of only playing three uh, Ralts. That seems a little bit sketchy. Now, granted, oh my gosh, my opponent just had like that crazy hand. They had a two-card hand there. And uh, it's just been absolutely nuts. But All right, thank you for stopping by, ABs. I appreciate it. Uh, but yes, my opponent's hand was completely nuts there. I knocked out their vehicle vault, and then they just, boom, responded right back. Even though I think this matchup is favorable for us, we just prized so much bad stuff. <laughs> we just really did. It's been pretty outrageous. If my opponent has the uh, the strong charge and the choice band this turn, that is going to feel really bad. That is not good. All right, what do they got? Oh, they're not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Yikes. So they get the Nature's Judgment. No discard either. They just knock it out. Oh, they did discard. Did they have to discard? They did not have to discard. That was uh, that was not what I would have done. But hey, you know what? It's not me. It's fine. All right. We'll promote our Guardian and see what we have here. Yep. Nada. That's fine. You go ahead. Yep. Go. I know. They discarded and they didn't even have to. It's uh, yikes. That's going to be a yikes for me, guys. Just uh, out here with Guardy. Prize and all our stuff, drawing no cards, feels really bad, but it's uh you know that's just it's just how it goes sometimes with the stage two deck. Oh, Guardy does sketch me out a little bit. Um, Shining stars. This is just Jimmy Pendarvis's regional winning uh, list here. You can head on over to LimitlessTCG.com and they have it listed there. So. Uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm just, uh, you know, you got it, sir. Yeah, I could, could you know what I mean? Like, I could have tried to, uh, just, no, nah, feels bad, man. Just with the Swampert gone, it's not happening. I guess I probably should have, uh, in, like, hindsight, I should have just, I should have seen that I prized too much stuff, and I should have tried to set up both Swamperts. Like, I think, in hindsight, that's the best play there. But set up two Swampert just seemed like doing too much. Uh, honestly, it seemed like that was like not going to be the best use of my bench space, but as you can see, it didn't really buff out there. It's on LimitlessTCG.com. I'm going to type that in the chat. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not, not great. All right. Let's see what else do we got here in the old deck pool. Uh, we do have mm, Rayquaza. I love playing Vika Ray, honestly. Vika Ray just like really is a fun deck here. Uh, let's see. I think Otto said that Vika Ray is dead, though. Let's play Blacephalon. Everybody loves Blacephalon. I am selected on Blacephalon right now, right? I don't know. I think it's probably not rolling me with Blacephalon. Am I, am I still selected? Oh, here we go. Blacephalon. It wasn't highlighting it there for a second, so I didn't get to actually see if I was on it. But we'll roll a game with Blacephalon. I actually want to edit the list real quick here. And I want to put some energy switches in it. I've really dug the energy switches that we've been seeing. I can take out the Zap Striker. All right, fine. I've really seen the value of like a very thick Naganade line, which I like, and then also like some energy switches. So energy switch action. All right, I'm into it. So I'll do energy, energy switch. Cool. So I'm gonna run at least one of those. Two is like probably like the coolest thing you could do, but one at least. Three Guzma, that feels fine. One rescue, we don't need the rescue stretcher. Let's run two. Oh yeah, now we're playing a four four. We are running a four four line now, right? Did we switch it? Oh yeah, this is it. This is the list. It's the money list. This is gonna be it right here. Let's roll with Blacephalon. This is like pretty much as consistent as it gets. 
that's just uh, just pure fire. I don't know, 4-4, Naginate, L-Line, no messing around, two energy switch, no choice helmets. Those are a little unnecessary, I think. But, you know, choice bands you could play, but, eh, we don't need it. We're just going to go in. Go in with Blacephalon and see. Yes, we are playing standard now. We've switched it up. Uh, Dankus, thank you for joining us. Looks like we are playing against Lukul. Lukul with his uh, Lucario coin. That's very nice. We lost. That's that's all right. That's fine. The 4-4 four, four line is good. I decided to play two energy switch instead of two band. Uh, I don't really think that I need the bands too much. The energy switches just seem so good to be able to respond kind of in a pinch with things. I like that a lot. This is an insane starting hand. Honestly, it couldn't get much better than this. Sophocles, two fire, heat factory. That's pretty much everything you want. So excellent stuff here. Unfortunately, the only thing that I do want is to go first. So we're not going first, but I will turn one, burst GX, just uh, take a prize there. Right off rip, that's one of the things that makes Blacephalon so good, is just that it's uh, such an aggressive deck, takes prizes so quickly. I know, my opponent's sleeves are kind of wild. I feel like I've never seen those. Those are cool. It looks like they're playing a Buzzrock deck. So thinking Buzzrock here feels kind of like what they're doing. Buzzrock with nine tails potentially. So I'm interested to see how this matchup goes. I don't think that I've actually ever played it before. This is a first for me. I should be good though. Naganadel is like super good, I guess, against Buzzwell, but it only hits for 160, so not super good. Um, yeah, I think we're cool. Let's take a look at the list real quick. You know, all right, we got two negative else. One of those is prized. Cool. We got both our energy switch and deck. Prized an ultra ball. Um, cool, cool, cool. Prized a Cynthia, I think. Prized two Guzma. All right. Rock and roll. Let's do it. I think I prefer to Heat Factory first and then I'll Sophocles. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. That way I can, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna Sophocles away. Oh boy, hmm, probably a Guzman of Fire, that's cool. We're gonna keep the Naganadel in my hand. Oh boy, all right, that's fine. Big old hand here. I think we want a, at least one copy of Poiple here on the bench. So we're probably going to get rid of, of course the energy switches are just like in my hand. They're just out here today. Like, you know, I put the energy switch in the deck and then we just start them both. All right, that's fine. And we will hey, 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 burst GX. All right, we'll burst GX. That's fine. Take ourselves a good old prize card here. That'd be great. Are you updated with the freshest Twitch memes. No, I don't believe I am, I'm a B. What are the freshest Twitch memes? I'm not uh, much of a, I don't, I don't know, I'm not hip. I need the youngins to keep me hip. Uh, I, used to, I used to work as a teacher and it was very easy to stay involved with all the freshest memes because my kids were always talking about them and stuff. So, no, nah, I need you guys to educate me. What's the, uh, what are the, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Sean, I see your text. Sean blowing me up over here. But, um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know any of the memes. In fact, like, uh, at some points, you know, people have tried to get me to say things while streaming that I, I should not have said. I didn't realize I was being memed on. So I have fallen victim to that before. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, you know, that, that just happens sometimes. I was a victim to... Uh, Victim to one of those things that you're, you know, you're not supposed to say, and everybody's trying to get you to say it. Yeah, I've been there, I've done that. <laughs> I am almost 30. Uh, my birthday's on December 14th, which, by the way, is also the end of my art contest that I am hosting. I'm hosting an art contest, and the I think Natalie made a uh, she made an art contest command. I don't know how to do it. Maybe it's just that 
Does that work? Oh, it worked. Oh, thank God. That was, uh, that was intuitive, Natalie. Thank you. I linked the art contest in the chat there if you are artistically inclined, or even if you're not, you feel welcome to enter. Uh, the grand prize is $100, which I am going to be announcing the winner the week after my birthday weekend. It's going to be in Anaheim, my birthday weekend, playing some expanded. Uh, but yes, the art contest, I'm really excited about it. I got a lot of really dope submissions so far, some like incredible stuff, really, really cool artwork. Uh, I'm also going to be showing off all the artwork on the. Um, I'm going to be showing off all the artwork on the channel in a video, and I'm going to shout everybody out who participated. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, the poiple's in the active position. It's not where we wanted the poiple. I felt like my list was max consistency, guys, but I'm starting to feel kind of bad uh, here about like my situation. Ooh, we got a fire in a heat factory. All right, so we'll evolve here. For surely, and then we're going to, I think we have to heat factory. Oh my gosh, what a horrible, horrible, horrible. That's fine. I mean, we really don't want to really get rid of any of this stuff. I think we have to like Guzma, oh boy. I think we have to Guzma up the, uh, probably the rock rough. We're gonna do that. Okay, so we've got this. We are also going to charge up, I guess we'll just charge up here. And then we might just energy switch. Okay, the Vulpix, I'm feeling the rock rough right now. He's definitely like, uh, definitely my guy here. I don't want to get rid of too many B strings, but I kind of feel like I might have to. That third Guzma does not want to go down either. Uh, I'm thinking that we go here. I'm thinking that we energy switch. That's fine. We're just going to take that there. I'm going to mysterious treasure away the... Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to mysterious treasure that for my let loose... Or, oh, Lele's here. Oh, that's that's busted. Okay. So we'll just get Lele. That's, that's way better. I was thinking that maybe I would have to let loose for this, but we do have the Lele in deck. My let loose is apparently prized. So that's cool. I'll just get a Cynthia. I think I'm going to... I mean, shuffle draw six is good. I don't think that I'm getting knocked out next turn, so that's cool. We'll save the B-strings in deck for later. Ooh, what's up, Natalie? Welcome back. Um, oh, I Guzman this turn, so that's right. I can't Cynthia. That's fine. That's why I wanted to let loose. So, like, I went in the deck looking for let loose because I had already Guzman, but that's cool. This guy's out of here. That's fine. We're just going to take that knockout. Whatever. We'll figure it out later. So I didn't have like uh, the beast energy or anything to take that. So we just out here chilling now. We got like nothing going on. What's up, Crimson? Thank you so much for love. Appreciate it. So I wanted to let loose there to give myself an opportunity to draw a fire energy, but my let looser is in the deck, so I couldn't do that. Just drawing very poorly, honestly, but it's, uh, yeah, it's all good. I don't really mind. We'll get there eventually. You know, we got some B string stuff we could do. Now, if my opponent, let's see, they're B string this turn. I guess I am going to my four prize turn, so the Vulpix probably would have been pretty good to take out. But hey, it's all good. They might not even have their, uh, you know, they might not even have their nine tails this turn because, uh, yeah, there's the nine tails. They're getting another B string. Oh, they're gonna do it, guys. They are gonna do it. So. Yeah, they're about to tee off on me, and I'm not really setting up all that great. We're kind of kind of just spinning our wheels here, feeling like this is just going to be a fat L. However, if they do take a knockout on my Blacephalon, I can't trade with them. I'm actually kind of fine. I think I just need to beast ring a bunch, so we'll be, like, totally okay. I am up four to six prizes. So really doesn't matter uh, what I knock out. I kind of liked knocking out the... The rock rough. I take that option off my opponent's board as far as being able to dangerous rogue. So I do like that as well. Mr. Marco, I am planning on playing King K. Rule and Toon Link. That is like, that's my jam. And then I might also experiment around with like Inkling. I like the Inkling. And then I'll probably also play a game with the, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I cannot believe they got everything they needed there for all of that. That was nutty. Thank you for the bits, Volcanic Tiger. Appreciate it. All right, let's, uh, oh my gosh, busted draw. This is fantastic. Okay, so give me that, uh, yes, give me that Blacephalon, please. I need to start B-stringing. So 
I need to beast ring my face off this turn. I think we're going to do that. We got two beast rings in hand. So we could do, oh, as much as I don't, I don't want to get rid of my final Guzma, but I feel like I kind of have to get another Naganadel in play. But we know my opponent's going to attack with a, with a uh, yeah, that's fine. We know that they're totally going to attack with another, uh, another uh, Boswell there. That's all they got built up. So there we go. Let's do it. Get me some action. All right. Double B string incoming. And then we could just win this game. You guys saw how horrible that I was literally just like not drawing anything. Doesn't matter. This deck is that, like that insane that I could just like just kind of do nothing and still win against a deck that is drawing pure fire over here. So yeah, looks like we're going to be able to, I have to ship four energy, which is definitely a feel bad, but I do have some options. I think I go there and I think I charge up and then I can ship that one there and then I could put this here, I guess, and then I could do one, two, three, four is what I could do. That would be fine. I need to leave one on the active though. I'm about to have five, let's see. I'm about to have five energy in play. One, two, three, four, five. I'm about to have six energy in play. So I can leave two on board. I have to leave one on the active and one on a bench. So it literally doesn't matter where I put it because I'm about to mind blown up in here. We are gonna remove that one. We're gonna remove that one, we're gonna remove that one, and then one more, that's fine. They're gonna scoop it up. They know that they have it like that. So that's cool, that's great. Uh, it was gonna be very close coming down to the wire there, but uh, I think I kinda had to leave an energy on my active, though I didn't really want to. I think it, uh, you know, that that's fine. All right, we're gonna rock one more game here with Blacephalon, then I gotta go. Got to go, Natalie and I have got a, date tonight with Super Smash Brothers. So I'm gonna be probably not worth benching the last Blacephalon. I didn't take a look there and see like if it uh, wasn't worth putting that one down. Probably not. I was thinking that maybe I was gonna get to have like three Blacephalons all with one energy on them, but that, uh, you know, that that wasn't gonna work. I was gonna have to end up lost zoning energy off it. So that last Blacephalon could have just stayed in my hand. But hey, it's cool. My opponent just conceded, so. Ooh, we got there, it's cool. We got a Poiple in this hand, Sophocles and a Lily. So Sophocles is a good supporter for this hand with the three fire in it, for, for sure. Definitely dig this. We're playing against a Zorark deck, so interested to see how this one goes. This is gonna be my final game, guys. Then I got, uh, you know, got some Smash to play tonight, so excited about that. Gonna stay up all night playing Smash Bros. Trying to learn how to play the new characters. Probably going to uh, play with the Piranha Plant as well. There is a Piranha, PD Piranha, is that the PD? Is it PD? I don't know. Welcome back, Oxella Sun, welcome back. Uh, so I'm excited to play in the new Smash and just kind of you know mess around with that a little bit. Smash is a game that I haven't played a ton of. Well, I did. I played a ton of the Wii version actually. Uh, when I was in college, because I had roommates that played a lot. So I was in college when the Wii version was out, we played a ton of that, but I haven't played a lot of the Wii U one. So I feel kind of rusty, like, uh, I feel kind of rusty not having, you know, a lot of experience with the, huh, I think we just discard two fires. Yeah, not having a lot of experience with the new Ist Smash games there. Alrighty then, you guys are seeing this, right? Like what more can I do here? Oh my gosh. All right, if this game's a dud, we'll, we'll roll one more. All right, we got Marshadow bottom right, horrible prizes and the rest, got it. All right, Poiple, Poiple, Naganade, I'll fire in the top left. Oh boy. So that's, uh, that's no bueno. This is not how we wanted to go down. My opponent literally, oh, here they go. They're just gonna have it. All they need is a double colorless energy and the game's over. Man, I'm having some really bad beats here with Placephalon, though it was able to yank itself out of the trenches in that last game. Oh yeah, totally over. They just gotta get Zorark, smash a DCE down, and we'll roll one more. Show me the DC. just show me, show me, show me, show me, show me it. You have a good deck, sir. 
You, you have a good deck. You're very good at this game. Hello. <laughs> you have a good deck. <laughs> Take me out, Patriarch. Just get me out of here. Take me out. Just do it. Um, oh my gosh, Typhlo, that is very funny. Did you get the DCE? Show it to me. Rob, I think that Pokecom getting a reprint, it is a very good card. Uh, it kind of saw like mixed play during its legality. It's good sometimes, it's bad other times. So I think that it might see play. Uh, it's a card that will probably see more play like after some cards rotate out. Like after like timer ball rotates, like Pokecom is gonna be like in a lot of decks. But I think right now, like Nest Ball and Timer Ball are gonna be favored over Pokecom. So Pokecom like will have its time down the road, I think. But as it is right now, I don't think it's super good. Um, that's just like, my opinion it's it's like fine you know it's a fine card it's not going to be bad like if you play it in a deck definitely not a bad choice i just think that the i personally prefer the ball engine right now i think like between nest ball and timer ball it like that's probably like one of the best ways to set up a deck so that's just my opinion like people were telling me to put pokecom in my let's see my land bats deck when i played land bats in st louis in 2015 people were telling me to play pokecom them i didn't i favored the level ball ultra ball engine instead and just played i think i played like a 3-3 split of level ball and ultra ball at that tournament it went really well for me so i personally have not been the biggest fan but i do think that the, that it's good i could go full greed here and let loose Nah, I also probably should have saved one fire. So, like, yeah, we're going to go with the Tapu Lele. Let's go Tapu Lele. Get me a turn one Lily. Yeah, we're going to Lily for six right off right off the top. So, we're going to go with the nice Lily. There we go. And we'll get six new cards not named Ultra Ball and Naginate L. That way, if I miss the fire, I can always Marshadow for it. We did not, though. This is how the deck is supposed to set up. I think that I'm playing against some sort of Giratina, Malamar, Shrine, Spread, Annoying Stuff deck, though. So I think that I don't want to bench too many Blacephalons. We'd probably just want, like, a ton of uh, basics in play. I know, I know, I'm a B. Am I actually saying that Timer Ball is greater than greater than uh, Pokecom? I know, me, right? Like, But Pokecom is, like, a card that you can only play sometimes. Timer Ball you can play all the time, so... I do have respect for Timer Ball in that regard. Free Search that is just playable at all times is very good. And I think Pokecom will find its way into some decks. Some, some decks will really love Pokecom. You know, I think Evo Soda is better than both of them. If Evo Soda was in format, we would probably just play Evo Soda. But Nest Ball is like insanely good. I mean, because sometimes you just want to nest, you just have a hand with just Nest Ball and you just want to go get a basic Pokemon. So. You might, uh, who is a Ryan Craig, Otto? Who is that? <laughs> uh, is Orion Craig somebody that I should know? That would be, that would probably be a yes. But anyways, this is very exciting. My opponent's got Chimeco in the active. All right. Let's get these things out. <laughs> Timer Ball is 100% tails. <laughs> All right. We've got Ultra Space. We can go get a third thing. He won a regionals the same year as me. Oh, wow. We both won regionals in 2015. That's exciting. So, oh, okay. Very cool. All right. So, apparently, I'm playing against somebody good. That's fun. Uh, we've got three Naginados here on the bench. We've got Sophocles. All right. We thinned our deck a bunch. I don't really want to put down any other GXs. I think that I have to kind of mind-blown this thing. Uh, kind of out of existence. That's probably the play here. I don't want to give my opponent a new hand. They haven't really done anything. So let's just Sophocles. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to Sophocles away the Ultra Ball and the Blacephalon. And we're going to just draw some more cards. Then, uh, let's see, you got two fire in the discard pile now. That's fine. I will. I saved my fire energy just in case I didn't draw in any more. So just in case you guys are wondering what in the world I was doing there, we're cool. I think I want to, like, chill a little bit on how many Pokemon I put into play. So I think I'll grab, like, I'll grab, let, uh, 
I'll grab the let loose, but I'm not gonna like play it. I'm probably just gonna Cynthia next turn. So we'll go here and we'll charge up three times. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see, Natalie, you know, low key harassing me for my regional win, telling me that my regional win doesn't count. Yes, my regional win does count. It's with Lando Bats, come on, that counts. It was in 2015. I did only receive $200 for it because that was like the prize at the time. I received a case and $200. That's what I got. But I sold it. So I ended up getting like $500, which is like, yeah, it was cool for me at the time. It was uh, felt like a lot of money at the time. Not a lot of money now, but you know, it felt good at the time. We'll get rid of uh, those two guys there. So mind blown, the Chime Echo. Get out of here, Chime Echo. Get out of here. So, but Natalie harasses me all the time, tells me that my regional doesn't matter. That's, uh, <laughs> she's a liar. My regional does count, Natalie, stop it. So mean, telling me that my regional doesn't matter. But uh, I did, uh, you know, I, I've done okay at some regionals since the prize money was upped, Natalie. <laughs> I have. I've done okay. All right. I've done. I've done pretty well. I did get second to Jimmy Pendarvis in 2016, and then I got top four last year. It was very sad. I lost to Azul in top four at Memphis. La Memphis? Yeah, I think Memphis last year. And uh, Pram ended up winning that regional, even though I beat him twice. I beat him twice that tournament, and he won. I was ready to win. I had victory in my sights, but. Couldn't quite get there. Anyways. <laughs> oh, Natalie. No, Natalie is very lovely. Natalie, you missed it. While you were coaching, I was singing your praises, telling everybody how wonderful you were and how you were one of the best testing partners I've ever had. So let's see. My opponent's still got, like, not a whole lot going on here. Yeah. Let's see. We could Guzma something out. Nah, we kind of have to knock out this guy in the active position. He's being a little bit of a pain. He's weak to, like, dark, right? Yeah, weak to dark. Okay, that's fine. We're going to put an energy here, and we're just going to probably just Cynthia. I feel like I'm not actually going to get punished for putting this Poipul. Eh, that's fine. Let's see if the Blacephalon goes down. Yeah, we'll just get another Poipal out. That's fine. I can always retreat an Agonadel into a new Blacephalon. So we're just going to Cynthia here. See some new cards. And let's see, we got an energy switch. That's pretty rad. We got a mysterious treasure. So we can ditch that, get the Marshadow back into my hand. And then we can charge up. So I'm going to charge up with just the one man here. And then we got to ship, what, three? I got to ship three to knock this thing out. That's annoying. I think I'm going to just, I have the energy switch in my hand. So I'm going to mind blown two off the active and then just one off my bench dude there. And if I need to attack with this Blacephalon next turn, which I don't plan on doing, I think he's just short, right? He gets to do four damage. Oh, but then he's going to pop it back. Oh, but he can't because my Blacephalon's in the active position. So he's almost there. <laughs> Uh, he's almost there, but he's not quite. He's gonna put the four damage on the Tapu Lele instead. So like, that's pretty cool, honestly. This deck seems like it could be a little bit of a pain to get around, but I'm on my big turning point turn next turn. So I'm kind of feeling that. Guys, I think Blacephalon is calling me. Blacephalon feels like my, Natalie, you were kidding. Natalie was kidding. All right, Natalie said she's not going to let me upload the VOD unless I say that she was kidding. She was kidding about the regional. She jokes about that all the time. So Natalie's just joking. She respects my regional win very much, even though she does harass me about it sometimes in a just kidding manner, which is lighthearted and is fine. And I enjoy her very much. There's no hard feelings. <laughs> oh, thank you for the bits, Volcanic Tiger. Uh, I would love to play Zorak to Sidui with no nine tails on my YouTube channel. I actually, Volcanic Tiger, I uploaded a video of nine tails to Sidui with both uh, with uh, with Zorak and without Zorak. I uploaded that uh, two days ago, so you could check on YouTube. Uh, the video has only got like two thousand views or something, so you could check that out. Uh, it's a uh, it's a stream actually, but uploaded the VOD and I was just rocking to Sidui every single game on that video there. 
Uh, Mr. Unicorn, uh, I don't know what deck I'm playing. For Anaheim, I'm looking at either... Uh, I'm looking at either... Um, Yikes, what am I what am I saying here? I'm looking at Blastoise, Vespa Queen, or uh, Blastoise, Vespa Queen, or um, Yeah, you know, that other deck that I was considering playing. Blastoise, Vespa Queen, or I have just lost my I need to figure out this turn real quick. But those are two decks that I'm or Buzzrock, that's it. Or Buzzrock. Those are the decks that I'm considering. All right, there's not like a lot that I can do here. I kind of have to like let loose. I can knock this thing out in one hit this turn, which is good. I kind of want to, like, I can knock out Malamar's easy peasy. So I think we're just going to let loose this turn. I'm not going to go get a Blacephalon. I am just going to let loose and then try to discard some energies. So let's evolve that last Naganadel into play. And let's see, Lily seems bad right now. I think we just need to let loose and then... Maybe we'll get some other cards that we can rock with. Uh, no, we definitely did not. So that's sad, but it's okay. Next turn, I'll have a B-string turn. Unless my opponent gets like a Guzma turn, that would be no bueno. But we'll turning point for knockout here on this Giratina. No problemo. So we'll take that gladly. And we'll take that Sophocles gladly as well. This is... Uh, going to be a little bit of a grinder. we got to just hope that my opponent doesn't have Guzma in their hand. If they have Guzma in their hand, this Lele's gone, I'm off my Beast Ring, and then that is bad. I really need Guzmas in order to take out my opponent's Malamars here. If I have to, like, trade poorly uh, by two-hit KOing these Giratinas, it's just going to be going to be rough, and that's not what we want. We want smooth sailing. Gosh, so, yep, this is last game, last game, last game. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the stream, honestly. It's been a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun tonight, and a lot of fun the last, I mean, we've been, like, banging these games out, just, uh, you know, banging these streams out very consistently lately, so it's been awesome. And here goes the Tapu Lele, so this is not good. This is not good at all. Let's see, what can we do here? We can energy switch on to Blacephalon. This is kind of why I like the energy switches so much. I do have, like, I have an out. It's just not great. Now, there's my next card. Ugh. Okay, I really needed that, like, last turn. We're looking like a Sophocles here. Ultra Space can get me, like... Nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've got tons of juice in the deck. Honestly, the beast energy would help as well. So let's uh, let's just Sophocles away, beast ring, and ultra space. We're gonna do that. Get some cards. All right, we've got ultra ball, and we've got this. So we can make it happen. We're taking a knockout this next turn. Uh, but the spell tag. Oh my gosh, the spell tag. Oh my gosh, that's not what we want. Okay. I think I have to Ultra Ball away the Blacephalon, probably. Like, honestly, if this Blacephalon goes down, I just lose. So we have to Ultra Ball away one of those. And then, yeah, we're going to do this. And then we can let that other Ultra Ball go. That's probably not going to be super relevant. So we'll just do that. Um, yeah, there's no Pokemon to get left in my deck. So that's fine. And then we just got to retreat into this fella here. Give him the old energy switch. Oh, there we go. Didn't see that coming, did you? There we go. Busted. And we could charge up with this guy again. And then we could charge up with one of these bench guys. And then we got an attack. So this is, the, this is what we had to do. I don't think that there was any other way to make it work. I know I took a look at my prizes, didn't I? Did I take a look at my prizes this game? I don't know. Anyways, we have to mind blown. That's just it. Yikes. So we got to do one, a two, and a three. I think, yeah, that's just, uh, that's just what we got to do. So I got two left on the active. Tough stuff here. Oh, tough, tough stuff. Uh, Mr. Unicorn, I think that, uh, you know, best deck in format, kind of hard to say right now. I think Blacephalon is, like, 
you know, competes for it for sure. Uh, and then also, I think, you know, Zorak and Decidueye is very good. I think that uh, Guardi is very good. I think all three of those decks are like very good and standard. So those would be like my three picks probably. I think Blacephalon is kind of very format defining and that it's consistent and uh, and just very aggressive and, um, you know, can kind of beat decks that it shouldn't beat just because it's, you know, very strong and consistent. But I think Guardi is also very good. I mean, Guardi did just win the last regional, so definitely a good pick for one of the top decks as well. Let's see what my opponent's got going on here. They, let's see, placed their damage kind of all over the board with that thing. They're going to let loose me. Yes, please let loose me. Uh, I only have one prize left to take, and this is a very good hand for me to get let loosed into, so I could win, unless they've got, like, uh, they're probably looking for the Necrozma GX. They probably got Necrozma GX. There they go, so they win. All right, they were digging and digging and digging and digging and looking for this fella. Unfortunately, I was not able to take out any of those, uh, you know, Malamars throughout the course of the game. We just never saw Guzma. Those were some really kind of tough draws there with the uh, Placephalon deck, but we did get very close. Well played there, sir. Good game. GG's. All right, and thank you guys all so much for the games. Thank you guys all so much for the stream. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you, everybody, for the subs who sub to the channel. We're going to be doing more of this going forward. Unfortunate there with Placephalon, but still a very good game. Well done, Orion Craig. All right, so that's going to be it for tonight. Hopefully, if anybody's playing Smash, y'all have some fun. All right, and again, thank you guys for making the stream a ton of fun. Thank you all of the mods as well, Dankus, Otto, Natalie, and uh, everybody else who's been hanging. Thank you all so much for the subs. Thank you all so much for the bits. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Peace.